Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 18th of February, 2022. Uh, I'm recording this a couple days later because my mum arrived. So uh, yes, mum visited, mum and stepfather visited this weekend and I had a fantastic time. But uh, I hope you enjoy the VOD as much as I enjoyed streaming it. If you would like to support, uh, you can drop a follow on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. If you tack on a slash schedule to that, you'll see when I go live, usually 4 p.m. Australian Eastern standard time monday wednesday friday and sunday but it'll convert it to your time zone if you go to the website uh, and if you have uh, a twitter or an instagram or a facebook or a tiktok account i would very much appreciate a follow on those platforms you can find all the links down below in the description box and uh toss me a follow if you so desire thank you so much for your support and i'll see you in chat next time Shall we get cracking? Go get them done today. Meeting my mum. So excited. My god. So excited. Let's let's not hit 1400 runs. Um <laughs> let's not hit 1400 runs, but we'll see how we go. Um Yes, the bot was broken, but I have Zam with first, Yori with last. Then we blamed the mod, and I, I've accepted that, and then I restarted the connection. Turns out it DC'd at like uh, half past midnight last night. My sincere apologies, but I have fixed it. Um, <laughs> Zam with first, Koala with second, Yori with last. Hello, Crumb. Uh, greetings to Mr. and Mrs. Fear as well. Uh, it is my mum and my stepdad. Uh, my dad is still down in Melbourneia, um, but... I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see. It's been two years. We hit the two year mark on Wednesday because the last time that I saw her, um, they like my my whole a good chunk of my family. Not quite everybody, uh, but a lot of my the only person who was missing from my immediate family was my stepsister because she was in Germany, uh, which is a little far away to take a weekend trip to Brisbane. Uh, <laughs> but um. Yeah, so they, they came up, we had my, my 30th birthday, my party, we had like dinner with a, a few of us and then more of us met us for, for drinks uh, at a local place uh, and it was absolutely wonderful. And then the very next day was my mum's birthday, so we went and had a high tea because I've always wanted to take my mum to high tea with, with bubbles and things like that, but um, because I moved out of home and moved interstate, um, like literally right before, like right after, like around the time I turned 18, um, I, I moved out of home and interstate. So I'd never been able to take her for Mother's Day for a high tea, which I'd always wanted to do. And I couldn't, I have not been, I have not spent a single Mother's Day with my mum uh, since I was 18 and I'm now 32, so that blows. But uh, yeah, it was her birthday and I finally got to spend her birthday with her for the first time in over a decade. And so we went and had high tea. And then from there, they left and went home. And precisely a month later, I started working from home because the pandemic had hit and everything had gone to shit. So it has been two years and two days since I have seen any member of my family in the flesh. And today I get to have dinner with my mum. So I am very excited. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. Um, so she's probably going to rock up during stream at some point, whether or not she comes on camera is her choice. Um, there is no pressure involved there. I've told her she can, if she likes, uh, she also doesn't need to, uh, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be her choice. Um, yeah. So we're just seeing how that goes. That is the plan for today. Uh, oh, captions, shit. Um, now good. Wonderful. Okay, I have ascended with this music. Wonderful. Is Kelly Fear? It is! I used I use my fan. This is back on charge now because I don't know how long it it is. It is quite low battery. So it basically does my hair and then uh, and then needs to be recharged. But that's pretty fucking good for a wireless thing. Apparently Australia Post would like to tell me that my delivery my, my shipment is being packed by Bubble Tea Club. Uh, which is the replacement for my my white pearls that turned out to have mold in them. Um, uh, so my my replacement white pearls and a ten pack of strawberry fruit tea with popping pearls to say sorry for sending out something that was not up to scratch. And now my lashes are falling off because I've been my eyes have been watering all day. 
Good. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Yes, Kelly B, it is! Ha-ha! The big 7,777th attempt. Good lord. That is a lot. Well done. Well done. Looking fresh. Thank you. Thank you. Let me... One moment, please. Let me confirm. Um, this is my last tune, so have a thank you. Thank you, Yori. I appreciate it. Hello, V. How are you? Still not convinced you're in your 30s? It would take me too much effort to get out my drive. I don't have a driver's license. I do have a proof of age card, um, but it would take too much effort to pull that out and like sit here and cover all the other identifying bits of information. And then even then, I'm not sure you'd actually believe me either. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm 32. I was born on the 11th of February, 1990. <laughs> and today get Heartbreaker 2. I bloody well, wouldn't that, I would, I'd lose my shit. I would lose my shit. Oh, I'm a rogue. I need to be in melee range. Oops. This is a problem with going through 50 tunes, as I always bloody forget. Um, so this shirt I'm wearing today is a gift from Landar. This this was one this one was gifted by Landar, so I need to kind of um eventually it's gonna stick in my head who what I need to maybe I need to like stitch in you know those labels that you put on kids clothes when they go to school like their sports uniform and stuff so that they don't accidentally grab each other's clothes and stuff i feel like i need to get some of those uh some of those labels to like iron in to to the gifts i've been getting from thrones so that i can remember who gave me each one because my brain is shit right but i don't want to be a shit human just because my brain is shit but yes thank you so much lander for this gorgeous shirt it, it fits so well. It's not one of the, it's not one of the accordion ones, as X has been calling them, one of the ribbed shirts. Um, but it's so comfy, so soft, and it fits me really, really well. Um, I cannot wear it with a colored bra, <laughs> but that's okay, because I have plenty of skin tone bras, so it's fine. Um, uh, vampires don't age, as you know, so age is just a number at this point. Look, I would really like to not ever die and not ever age, but I can tell you that I am in fact aging. And it sucks. Can confirm. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Now that Rivendell's mount dropped yesterday. Yay! I have to move to me have to move my demon hunter. I deleted my hearthstone, so I'd have to run the boring dungeon. Oh no. Oh no. Well you could fly to Light's Hope Chapel and get yourself a new hearthstone from there, but then you have to set it somewhere else, obviously. Oh no, I'm nowhere near seven seven seven. Get on that attempt. Oh! Horrible. How could you ever even joke about it taking that long? How dare? <laughs> I have I have my lucky earrings on. I forgot to put I forgot to put I I've remembered to put them on today. Oh, I got level 50 the other day. Yay, now I don't know what to do besides play dress ups. Any tips? You could get to level 60, because that's level cap at the moment. Um, and then that will open up so much more content to you once you hit level 60. Ah, uh, I'm brilliant. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. Uh, your hair is extra lit today. Uh, I'm gonna thank my absolutely not sponsored, but I would very much like to be, uh, Wylera Hair. I watched I watched the video where um, Safia Nygaard um, got one off TikTok, and it turns out that hers that she got was a rip-off one of another brand that wasn't this one but it's a very very similar idea um it kind of sucks the hair into the chamber and then it sits there and curls it and then you kind of pull it out and all but i watched the video and she's putting the end of her hair and she's like look there's a there's a baby curl and she's like trying to feed hair it's like please woman read the instructions please for the love of all that is fucking holy read the fucking instructions please because you're supposed to hold it up against the top of your head and then pull it down along there and then when you press go it sucks the rest of it up not sucking it in from the top, it sucks it in from the su- and I just, I wanted to reach through the screen and be like, Safia darling, you're wonderful, but fuck me, read the book. <laughs> like, oh, and I'm sure I didn't read the comments, but I am, I am certain that there would have been hundreds of people in the comments being like, bitch, you're doing it wrong. Um, but you know, we, we adore her and she's a lovely, well, she seems to be a lovely human. She could be totally different IRL. We don't know. Creators, who knows them? I certainly don't. <laughs> um, but no, she, she seems like a lovely, wonderful person, but good God, read the book. Anyway, 
Um, where are we? Like what you've done with your head? Thank you, Shopper. I got it. It's, it's the birthday present I bought for myself. Um, it's the, it's the gift I bought for myself for my birthday. And uh, yeah, it was so easy to use. Holy shit. I sat here watching Netflix and just every so often kind of like aligned it and then like pushed the button and it sucked up my hair and then I just held it till it double beeped in my ear. It's very loud holding the thing next to your ear and having it beep very loudly. But um, yeah, no, it was great. Just watching Netflix and curling my hair. It's the easiest hair curl I have ever done in my life. Some of them are dropping out. Some of them are getting a little bit less uh, pretty and coily and stuff like that. Um, but like, I this is the first time I've used it to do all of my hair, so. I'm sure, I, and I have no, there's no product in it either. If I had actually put in like curl holding product, it would probably be holding a lot better. But. Yep, next time I do it, because I didn't wash my hair last night because it wasn't time to wash it yet. Um, so I think next time if I wash my hair the night before, and put, cause the, the problem with products that, um, I have very, very oily hair, like very oily hair. And if I put products in it while it's dry, um, it just, it ends up like my hair looks really gross and it doesn't spread through my hair properly and all this kind of stuff. Cause it's very oily on top and very dry on the ends. So it's just all a bit of a mess. So what I end up having to do is I have to put, I wash my hair and I squeeze out as much of the water as I can. And then I put my product in. And because then the water helps it distribute more evenly all over my hair and then it dries and the product is there. Good to go. Um, so when I wash my hair next, I will probably put in some like styling aid, uh, which will help it, uh, help it do its thing a little more solidly next time. I might actually work because I've got so many like styling aid products. I have mousses, I have sprays, I have creams, I have so much shit that I just never use because I don't heat style my hair ever. Um, but this stuff, this one actually, you can turn the temperature down a fair bit so it doesn't damage your hair because my hair is so damaged because of medication and all this kind of shit that I've been through and, and plus genetically very thin hair. Um, so it just, yeah. So I don't really use styling product because I don't really style it often. So, um, yes, I'm looking forward to Maybe working my way through that and finding out what works and what doesn't. Um, but thank you so much. Just going to wear a white shirt today. I've only got white shirts with blotches on them or an undershirt that's a bit see-through and I got self-conscious, so black shirt it is. See, so the best thing about shirts that are see-through is that if you have like an undershirt that's a really funky pattern, like a really loud pattern, and then you put a white shirt over it that you can see the loud pattern, but it's not as loud. Hot tip. But yeah, look, um, the, the, this, this shirt is quite see, it's not like see-through see-through, but it is quite sheer. You know, there's a bit of a difference. Um, like if I, if I wear a black, like when I tried it on the first time I was wearing a black bra and I was like, oh, nope, <laughs> nope. Um, like it was exceptionally visible. Uh, but this one, because this bra has like, you know, the cups kind of curl out a little bit cause it's old and it's not perfectly fitted and all that kind of stuff. So you've got those kind of lines from the bra. Um, but beyond that, because the color of the bra matches the color of my skin really well, you can't really see it too much, which is good. Uh, but yeah, also it's cropped. It's a, it's like a, it's, it's a crop top. Like it sits just a bit short. So I have that kind of little. Yeah, I like it. It's, um, it's nice. Oh. Wait, did I just... I am... No, I've already done this tune. What the hell are you doing, Fia? Good job. Good job. Ah, uh, anyway. I call BS on aging. We know you're a vampire, Fia. You don't need to lie to us. <laughs> this is a safe place. I wish. The problem is, right, Zam, if I talk about being a vampire, people will stop looking for a vampire for me. Because I need one because I'm not one yet. <laughs> uh, I don't have the latest expansion, I can't love it. Oh, right, okay. In that case, um, you should have access to like old raids and dungeons and things like that. You could absolutely install the add-on called All The Things, it's one word, um, and then both praise me forever and hate me forever. Um, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, you can, you can farm transmog, 
Uh, you can farm mounts or pets or toys. You could go and earn a good chunk of Lore Master, which is a big achievement. There's a lot of achievements you can do from level 50. It's... Like, you don't, the whole, not the whole game opens up to you, unfortunately, because you do need to get to max level to be able to have the whole game open up to you. Uh, but there is a lot you can do still at 50. Mm, for the love of all that is sacred, read the instructions. Indeed, exactly. Netflix and curl. Yeah. Looks amazing. Thank you, Lucky. It's the, it's the curler I bought for myself. I'm so happy with it. I'm so impressed. It was so fucking easy to use. Um... Yeah, I do, I do need to, like, perfect my technique, uh, but, like, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So happy. Um, how are you today? I'm well, thank you, Chaos. How are you? How are you today? Hi, by the way. Hello, Lucky. I must my children kill each other every time I go to sit at a computer. Because they want to play with the computer. Because they know how awesome it is. Because mum's on it all the time. Not all the time. Sorry, that came off as so insulting. It, I did not mean for it to be. Uh, I meant to, for it to be praising your good taste in hobbies, but it didn't look. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop. Um, good morning. What amazing thing you've done with your hairstyle. Thank you, Landa. And I have to thank you as well. I'm not sure if you were here when I was talking about it, but this is, this is the shirt you bought me. This is the shirt you bought me from Throne. Um, oh, there are a couple of loose threads that I'll have to fix up later, but that's okay. There's always, like, new clothes always come with loose threads, no matter how good quality it is. Um, have you had your first catch up? Nope, that's today. Mum is currently at lunch with a friend of hers, and after the lunch, she's going to be coming here. So I'm very excited. Very excited. Did you not swap characters? I did not! You are correct. I was an umpty, and then I realized, and then logged off and changed. I'm a bit distracted today. <laughs> <laughs> bit distracted. Mm, hello, Axiom. Love the look today. Thank you. The white looks great. Angus, your hair color. I, thank you so much. I am just... The last couple of days, I swear to God, I have just been feeling myself. Like, I'm so... Oh, I'm so happy with, like, how this is happening. Like, I'm just... I'm really happy with everything. So thank you so much. I've been making good choices lately. Clearly. <laughs> I can also start going after Legion class mounts. Yes, lots of good storylines and Legion class auto hall stuff. There really is. There absolutely is. New hair tool has done wonderful pretty noodles. Yes. Yes. There are a couple that are like dropping out and stuff um, towards the back. They're like the first ones that I did. Uh, but I am, I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. Um, I'm terrified, but apparently if you brush them through, it just kind of turns into beach waves. But I'm like, I don't want to touch it because if I brush it, they'll all drop out because my hair is so fine. It has a lot of trouble holding on to heat styling and there's no product in this. <laughs> so it's going to be, it's going to be gone by the end of stream, but that's fine. Um, I had fun. I am, I'm enjoying the way that I look. And next time I will wash my hair the, day, the night prior and put product in it while it's still damp because it's the only way I can actually make product work with my hair without looking, making it look like disgusting. Uh, and then the next day, the next morning, I can, like it took me, so I started, when I went, okay, do I have enough time for this? Cause I did my makeup first because I didn't want to, to curl my hair and then be like, shit, I can't get ready for stream. Like that was, this was a lot like lower priority than getting this done, right? So I did my makeup and I think it was about 10.45. Uh, when I was like, okay, cool. So I, um, I turned it on and did all the settings on it first, uh, so it could heat up. And then I went and brushed my hair. My hair looked like shit when I brushed it. It looked like poofy and fluffy at the bottom and then greasy and stuck to my head on top. It was fantastic. Best look of my life. Uh, and then I combed, you know, pulled one half of it over into a, a scrunchie. And then I started sectioning the other side and that's when it beeped to let me know it was ready. And then I started doing, I popped Netflix on and I started just sectioning it off and curling it. And I'm pretty sure it was about 11.20 to 11.30 when I was like, okay, I'm done. And then like, I, I you know, turned my head over and shook it all out and, and tried to make it look less partitioned. Because uh, you know, when you curl your hair and you've got like individual chunks of curls and you're like, no, but I want to, I want it to be less like that. So I, I did the whole turn your head over and just shake everything out and try to separate everything. Uh, and then my hair did that whole this. I'll show you. I'll show you what happens when I do that. Da 
gonna shake it all out with your fingertips. And then this happens. <laughs> and oh, that one's up on top on the wrong place. And then this bit needs to go over there. And then like, yeah. So I look like, I don't, I don't know, fun. Uh, <laughs> and then I kind of grabbed this bit and pulled it out the way so that I could put the cup on there. And then this one here so that I didn't squish any of them because that's kind of, yeah, it's fun. It was a lot fluffier last time I did it, but I think that was because it was fresh. But you know, they all separate. They all the curls, instead of being one big chunky curl, it separates into a bunch, but then they stack up on top of each other. So it just kind of sits out like that. It's great. It's hilarious. If I had product in it, it'd probably uh, be even better. Um. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm just waiting for to go now though. That's okay, Binary, enjoy your day. Due to the event, I've noticed attendance for our restriction isn't in place. What? I just ran stuff on 40, what? No. I need some cheese ADTs and one stopper. Yeah, look, it's a bit that way, isn't it? I am absolutely gonna try my 11th award tune and see if it works. Because they've never done that before. They've never done that in years prior. I got it in 147. Well done, Bear. Congratulations. Which color did you use? Wailera. Uh, it's W-Y-L-E-R-A. I am not affiliated, although now that I know what it does, I would very much like to be. Um, and... Maybe what we need to do is get clips of me talking about all, like all these little clips of me talking about my hand and then stitch them together and then put them on socials and tag them. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with the result. Very happy. Um. Indeed. All right, so Blood, you've been told once, twice, and on the second time we timed you out for for greeting me with, with something along the lines of hey sexy or hey beautiful, you've been asked to stop and this is the third time you've done it. So like I did tell you last time that you'd been you'd be timed out and then you were. And I told you if you did it again you'd be banned. So guess what we're gonna do? I fucking do what I say I'm gonna do. So yeah, don't fuck with me. Um, I'm gonna head up any kind of stuff you need. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I was not here with glasses. Up. Yay, yes, it's awesome. It's awesome. At least still the case for me. Interesting. Because 100%. Okay, good. Okay, good. I'm glad. Like 40 runs last night. I'm one two there. Holy shit. Holy shit. More than six minutes per run. Maybe a minute at 30 to two minutes. Um, still the cap moving day mount. Took me four ish minutes per run. I'm able to clip at the moment. If someone's taking note, we do have, we've got three clips so far, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll check after the stream. Hopefully, clip. Oh, Sam, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> but yeah, um, look, I will, I, I'm happy to test. Like, It'll tell me, it'll yell at me if I get to 11. Cause I absolutely will. Well, I've got seven and the, the next one's uh, resetting in 40 minutes. So we'll see. Keep in mind that if you're like emptying your bags and stuff like that, if you're looting, I don't know if you were looting or not. Um, I didn't have a chance to watch the video. I just um, assumed that you'd had a drop in and reacted with the hype with whoever else had as well. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, if you're like, if every 10 runs you're like emptying your bags or something like that, then it can absolutely um, skew what you think, it, how long you think it's taking and stuff like that. But yeah, I remember doing my Strathon runs and if I accidentally got in under six minutes, then I'd be sitting there just walking into the portal every, t every 20 or 30 seconds just to see if I could get in yet. Oh, uh, we may be a rat bag when it comes to coin taunting. You're good for a clip. Zam's wonderful for a clip. Or 12.
Yeah, you, unfortunately, you've got to get your clip to like 50 views for it to be able to, for it to count um, for the, the clip badge. If that still exists, I had trouble because like I, f I found the news article announcing that it was a thing, but the, the support page that it links to is gone, so it looks like it's been removed. Looks like it does, it's not a thing anymore. I guess not many people, like 50 views for a clip is quite rare. Like usually that's when you've got your top, 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 top streamers. That's not like, yeah, that's not a lot. Top room blazer, hold a bag of blues, have an empty my bags, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, the, uh, that fucking, that fucking sword. We had a counter for how many of that fucking sword dropped while I was doing the runs, because it's the only other purple item. So every time I'd see the purple, I'd freak, and then it wouldn't be it, and I'd be like, ah, be fine. It was great. Can't clip badge the thing anymore. Yeah, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. <sighs> Why is it still not working? Why is it still not working? I... Can't. So I was doing some digging and I think it might be because we don't have the Streamlabs overlay active, but that's been inactive for a much, 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 much longer time than just recently. It might also be there was an update to the Streamlabs chatbot recently, uh, and I think that might be when it broke. <laughs> Thank you, Shiva. Thank you. The the curler, it works. It works. I uh, need item drops last night too. From more than one PC, more than one dungeon. Ooh, interesting. Maybe they tried to fix the queue for Lovers in the Air and broke a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> Spaghetti code. Shit. I got the mount. Absolutely. Rip coins, we loved you. Mount Rivendares, yeah, Rivendares Death Charger from Stratholm.
Mm -hmm. Only 6.40 p.m. Wonderful. Kuhurong apparently older than dose drop rate is 0.03. I don't think so anymore. It may have been at one point, but I'm pretty sure it was a 1%. Um, now, at least. Hey, X. It me. I have a toy, and it did a work. <laughs> um, oh no, possibly fancy nails. I did, I had the, is it the same nails from yesterday though? So I'm not sure if you saw them, but we have, we have heartbreaker nails as demanded by chat. Um, so yeah, they're fun. I feel kind of 80s, like, cause these are very 80s, like holy shit, so 80s. And now I've got like the curls and I've got like the, the, the crop top and the, the skater skirt and I'm like, yep. I'm feeling very 80s. Um, it makes me amazing for dinner. Roast pork and clochette looks so great. Made salmon. Yum. Don't you climb the want to eat it. This is this news, Ellie. Oh, no. That's okay. 80s, you must be in your 30s. Except I wasn't born in the 80s. I just missed the 80s. 1990. Right at the start. Well, close to the start, at least. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm... I'm feeling it. <clears throat> oh, I am a warlock. I need to stand still. Ah, uh, not all 80s. You're just spend the afternoon with your mum. 91 is greater than 90? I mean, maybe. Maybe. I think I'm doing pretty well with my birth year as is. Wouldn't trade it for anything. There's some point to thank you. Other work for your response here. Yeah. <laughs> when someone says they're born in the 80s, instantly think of the movie The Goonies. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen The Goonies. Like, ever. Alright, so that's 10. I'm going to test this more than 10 instances thing. I'm going to jump onto my next horde tune and see if it works. If it doesn't, we know it's bullshit. Because it's definitely been less than an hour. Bullshit, ouch. You're not saying you're bullshit. You're saying the claim is bullshit. It's, oh, you have to. <laughs> the other option is that it's been like fixed super quick, like it was an oopsie and they've fixed it. Nope, entered too many instances recently. There you go. Ten instances is still a thing. Oh, you have to know when people always say I haven't seen a thing. Yeah, it look. There are a lot of things that I haven't seen that are apparently like I'm not a, a real Aussie or 90s child or etc. Et like and I'm like, clearly I am, because Hello. <laughs> but that's okay. I swear to God. Well, you would be wrong. <laughs> you are, you are wrong. Uh, maybe your runs are not taking as, were not taking as long as you thought they were. Uh, sorry, uh, maybe they were taking longer than you thought they were. There we go. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it is still 10 instances per server. Unless you were switching servers every so often just to switch things up because you're getting bored. Um, but yeah, no, definitely still 10 per hour. Can confirm. Just did. <laughs> uh, not a bad bug to be a part of though. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Time saving for sure. And I and my mate go blank. And my mind with blank goes, I do not have to watch shit. And won't on principle. Correct. Correct. Like, not only that, but if people are like, oh my God, you have to, it's the best thing. Oh my God, blah, blah. And they hype it up and then I watch it and I'm like, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also like, it is not what you are claiming it to be. This is, this is not, 
like God's gift to the world, you know? It's <laughs> they always hype it up too much and it never lives up to those expectations ever. Ah, uh, clearly you are because you're in your thirties now. <laughs> How long did you spend running that? Ah, uh, iPhone, why are you gonna do me like that? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I've got bread baking right now and the house smells so good. Oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. So I'm I'm having I'm having sushi for dinner tonight. There are seven of us going to dinner because not only is it Jas and I and my parents, but it turns out my stepbrother is in the area, it's he's not in the area. Uh, my stepfather is going well out of his way to go collect him, to have to have food with us, and I'm so, I'm so excited. Uh, and then there are two family friends who I have like literally they bought me a gift when I was in the hospital, being born. Uh, so they have been like uh, I'm pretty sure I told you guys like one uh, the the they are a heterosexual couple and the male of the couple was a friend of my dad's and the female of the couple was a friend of my mom's so they introduced them and they now have two children who i have babysat regularly like when i was younger i babysat them a lot you know so it's like they are when i say family friends they are essentially another uncle and aunt to me um but yeah it's uh so they're coming as well because they happen to be in the state uh, so yeah, there's there's like a whole bunch of us going for dinner tonight, and then uh, so sushi for dinner. Uh, we're having tapas and sangria for lunch tomorrow. So tomorrow's stream will be fun. <laughs> uh, and then we're going out for brunch. Uh, just four of us, not not the extended group, but just the just the four of us going out for for brunch, breakfast brunch on uh, on Sunday. I'm so keen, so excited. Ah, uh, the one where you don't know the dude's real name and your middle name something something. What? I'm so confused. Is this like a... Is this a funny that I'm like, whoosh? I dinged! I'm 51! Missy Goosey liquid lunches? Yeah, it's gonna be great. This place does the most amazing jugs of sangria. They are just so delicious. Um, what was my favorite one? They had one that was like elderflower and lemon or something that they did with vodka instead of wine. Like they're, they're very loosely based on sangria. They're cocktail jugs, let's be honest. But um, they're just so good. And reasonably priced too, like really reasonably priced. <clears throat> the two family friends, is that the story? Ah, yeah, no, that's not the story, but um, the one that I told was the story. Trips and tipsy stream Lego. Look, honestly, by the time lunch finishes and then I get home and get ready for stream and stuff, I will probably be sobered up again, but we'll see, we'll see. Hey, Scarlet, how you doing? We could grab free bottle that our ally runs haven't. Sounds like a plan, Jack. Enjoy, I hope it's delicious. And delicious and wonderful. Uh, also, I had a couple of um, a couple of uh, gift throne recommendations yesterday that came through. Uh, I'm not sure who they were from because they were anonymous. Uh, but I there were three of them, and I rejected them all because the shipping, like one of the one of the items was like seventeen dollars, and another one of the items was like twenty dollars. But the shipping was fifty to sixty because it's coming from uh, like an American website, which is just this ridiculous. So I rejected all of them, but one of them, uh, they were all wow things and they were all from the Blizzard gear store. One of them was a Jinx shirt and I knew that Jinx had an Australian shipping hub as well. So I went and found that shirt on the Jinx site. And so I rejected the suggestion, but then added the shirt from the different website. Cause you can't change it through suggestions. You can't change um, anything about it. You can't change the link or anything like that. So you have to actually like accept it as is. So I, I rejected it and then I added the Jinx link instead. Uh, and it's the Crown Prince shirt because I am most definitely not a paladin. I approve of the joke. Even the goat. No, no, the goat's been accepted. The goat's on there. I'm not a paladin. No. You, if you were the one who suggested stuff, you, sh you get an email that tells you that I have re accepted or rejected. Um, the the thing you should do at least best thing about, if you entered your email address you may not have entered your email address that's also a thing 
Um, I mean, the best thing about sangria is you usually don't get too drunk. Fruit and ice and alcohol is pretty mixed, correct. Yeah. And usually it's made with wine, which isn't particularly alcoholic. Anyway, I mean, it can be, but it's not like the, it's not, you're not getting a jug of spirit. And then, add, do you know what I mean? Like you're adding wine, you've got wine as your base, and then you have the fruit, and then you have the the other mixes and stuff like that. Um, they do have a couple that are based on spirits, but they're topped up with a lot of mixer. So they're not like, yeah. They're really tasty though. I like sangria. I don't drink red wine, but I love sangria. Uh, did anyone end up recommending a goat after what happened last night? Zam did, yeah. Zam did. It's a, it's a plush goat and it is on the wish list. It is there. So tasty, best thing I ever had was in Port Macquarie, and as previously discussed, it was raining. <sighs> you aren't trying hard enough. <laughs> you can drink, like you can drink a lot of sangria, but you have to break the seal, and then everything just kind of goes to shit from there. Six minute average wait time. I beg your pardon. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Platonically love you, you brilliant human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is a there is a plush goat on the wish list. Thank you very much for the faster queue, Antares. Appreciate. Goodness, you started at 12. Shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I purposely made it so that I would have plenty of time in case anything happened. What time is our booking? I think it's at 7? Yeah, bookings at seven. So plenty of time. Make a bubble tea with mum. Maybe spike it. And then head off to dinner. Start of my first layer eight as a 206 when walk a monk. Get good luck, Scarlet. Best of luck. My eyes just will not stop watering. Maybe it's the aircon. I can just feel my uh my lash unsticking itself. I have to take them off when I'm done and let my eyes dry out and reapply them. It's unstuck again. But it's sticking fine in my nails. God. Yeah, okay. Grumble. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm-hmm. 
What else is new? <laughs> Thank you. Much appreciate. What else is new? That's a good question. Um, I've been streaming so much that it just kind of... I haven't really, there's nothing that's happened that I haven't really talked to about. Like, it's kind of, this is the problem with streaming all the time. Oh, sorry, that was me. Did a thing absolutely. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> Choose the streaming is going on? No. No, it's not. Um, that's why I don't have the the thing up and I don't have the timer going, like the, the, uh, all that kind of stuff. No. Nah. Um, just because these are, this, like, this isn't, normally, if Love is in the Air wasn't going on and my mum was coming for dinner tonight, I wouldn't be streaming. So this is technically a bonus stream, uh, as are the things on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, and because they're bonus streams and it's just for these runs and I want to get them over and done with as quickly as possible, having stream raiders running is just another thing that makes the stream take longer. Um, and I, I want to get the runs done as soon as possible. So no, not running them on these days. Uh, it's also been, the reference has been removed from the stream title as well. Like it's all just no reference whatsoever. Um, yeah. Uh, streaming all the time, like if you were full time, if you put any thought of what a schedule would look like, assuming you'd take days off like a normal 9 to 5 type deal. Yeah, um, I would probably, instead of adding another day, I'd probably still stick with my, my four days a week, but I would make the streams maybe slightly longer. Um, I'd also have more time to do stuff outside of that, so I'd have more time to potentially have more like subscriber benefits, um, and create bits and pieces outside of actual stream stream that, it, yeah, it's... I have had a couple of thoughts about what it might change, like what things might happen, but I certainly wouldn't be streaming every day. Um, I'd maybe go in and do things like a, a quick morning stream for like exercising and stuff like that, because I've, I've spoken a few times about how I'd love to, because stream keeps me, uh, it keeps me accountable with things is if I tell you guys I'm doing something like for the 50 50s, I said, this is a prod, this is a challenge I'm doing. And so you guys kept me accountable. You asked me how I was going with it all the time and all that kind of stuff. So it keeps me accountable. So if I was able to do something like have a workout stream, if it was something like playing ring fit or if it was something different, um, that would, yeah, just slightly different types of content, you know, uh, it could be fun, but yeah, we'll, we'll see, you know, it's, Honestly feels like it's a long, 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 long way off, um, but hey, who knows? All sorts of things might happen. I was just running. Of course, of course. Surprise for your stream. Live just got better. Not, not surprised. You've known this is happening. I, I said, I've been saying, like, it's on the, it's on the thingy. It's on the thingy. Uh, ooh. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm not doing too badly. Going quite well, looking forward to having some food with my mom and my stepdad and, and people this evening. It'd be good. Good fun. Holstrom? Yeah, the, another potential thing that could happen, for sure. That's better doing things, having someone accountable with you. Yeah, absolutely. And it keeps you on track as well. Like, I, I find personally that I fall behind a lot less often if it's something that's, um, yeah. It not be a long way off having a plan never hurt. It, yeah, absolutely. However, I think with how time poor I am at the moment, I'm better off spending that time trying to do things that are effective now rather than spending that time planning what it might look like maybe in the future, do you know? 
I think it went, if it became closer to being a reality, that is when I'd start planning things. I'd be like, okay, so this is something that is actually legitimately, there's a chance of it happening in the next six months. I need to start thinking what it's going to look like. Uh, and then I'd, you know, sit down and plan that whilst also planning, like, what would my exit strategy from my day job look like? Uh, I'd start, you know, writing up guides on how to do my job and all this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, but yeah, it's, uh, it's long enough away that I don't think I can afford to spend time planning it just yet. Let my ring fit. Legit injured myself. Achilles damage. Two weeks of going hard. Heard it. I've been getting back into it now, but COVID, yeah. Oof. Rough. That's rough. Okay, just think about that stuff. There's new, some structure or semblance of a plan. And there, like, there is absolutely a semblance of a plan. Uh, it's just such a, such a, like, lightly sketched out semblance that it's um, not really worth talking about. Uh, not publicly, at least, because it's so broad that any of it could change at any time, depending on how I end up going full-time. Because that's another thing, right? If I end up going full-time because I'm sponsored by a company, then that company, in that contract, there's going to be some rules around what I have to do. There's going to be, this is how many hours you need to stream. These are the times you need to make sure your streams are within. This is what you need to stream. This is the thing. If someone's paying for you to do content, they're going to have a say over what happens. Uh, so it's kind of, yeah, there's there's not a whole lot I can do right now to, to say what it's going to look like. I just can't. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I took 11 minutes on floor one. That's okay, you got through it. Well done. Well done. Don't do it as Windwalker. Do as Mistweaver. There you go. Some, some hints and tips. Some hints and tips. Don't have my damage stuff keybinded. You can still do that though. Keep in mind that if you change your keybinds while you're in Torghast, when you exit Torghast, it'll change them all back to what they were. Fun fact, in case you didn't know. I'm sure most people did, but just in case you didn't. Spinning crane kick until you get the vivify power. There's also that as an option. All right, looping back around on the alliance tunes. Wonderful, making good time. Making good time. I think I have pulled a thread. Yeah, I have. Shit. Okay. That's not ideal. That's all right. There's still some thread on there. I just have to thread it through a needle and stitch up the hem. Uh, I appear to have yanked something, caught it on something, and it's pulled a thread loose. So my hem is unraveling, which is not good, uh, but it's very easily fixable. Only about that much of it is unraveled, like between my nails. So um, I'll be able to grab that thread that's hanging there, thread it through a needle and stitch it up. I know a thread of fate. Yeah, I know, right? Just don't yank it. Do not yank the thread. Many dangers. Do not yank the thread. <sighs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to food tonight. It's going to be great. Sorry, give me a second. <laughs> Fear is absolutely hungry. Although it's probably because I'm thinking of all the sushi I'm gonna eat tonight. Instead of lead you to a guest on Resto Shaman and break the game. <laughs>
how we hop. Next one along. 120k damage as a 200 eye level healer shouldn't be possible, but it is. That's great. That's hilarious. That's really interesting. Sorry, I'm having a look at the um like the partnered retailers with Throne, right? And it's like Amazon, basically. Like the only one for Australia is Amazon. And then they have banned merchants. And there are some on here that I understand. Like um, there are some uh, like vape stores and stuff like that because, you know, I don't know how, what the legalities are of someone from one country purchasing nicotine products for someone from another country. Like it all just gets a bit messy, you know? Um, and then there are some like, oh, you just missed out. That was like an Instapop. I'm so sorry. Um, and stuff like that. But Colourpop's on here. Colourpop is banned. Steam is banned. Razor is banned. EB Games Australia is banned. Chemist Warehouse is banned. Novo Shoes Australia. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really kind of confused by that. Thank you for understanding. And Amazon US, Amazon Canada, and Amazon Germany are all banned from Australia. Like, for a banned from Throne won't ship to Australia from, like, it's, yeah, it's just really interesting. So when you add DPS, the Mythic Gear Hunters from your guild, they're just being a buff bot for you. That's so funny. But yeah, like, it's just it's really, really interesting that... Like, Throne won't allow you to receive a gift from EB Games Australia. No matter where you are in the world. Or Colourpop. I'm guessing what it is, is that Colourpop won't, um... Out of range, what? Oh. Why are they just... Oh, the tank is AFK. No, fuck it. The tank's not getting healed then. What is... Can't be kicked for another two minutes. But yeah, because I, like, I know that I had a thing from Mecca on my wish list and it was purchased for me. Um, and they went and they, they made the purchase from Mecca. Uh, and it, it said, yep, all good. It's being, it's, it's been ordered. And then all of a sudden the order was cancelled. And they went in and ordered it again. And Mecca immediately cancelled it again. So I'm thinking, like, maybe they're recognizing this credit card. Like, they've got one fucking credit card number that they use to order all the shit all over the world rather than doing it via bank transfers and stuff like that. Because I think Throne's a fairly new company still. Um, so I'm guessing that they're just trying to do it all through a corporate credit card and all these retailers are starting to reject this corporate credit card and so they can't order from them. You know, I think that might be what's happening, but it's, it's very, conf like, it's very strange. Very strange. <laughs> Mm. Corporate billing addresses always cancelled many orders in the past, yeah. But like, I know for a fact that Mecca allows corporate billing addresses because they do corporate Christmas gifting where you can buy like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of Mecca gift cards with a corporate credit card and use a corporate billing address and ship it out to your employees individually. Like, I know that they do that because they offer it as a service on their fucking website. So I know that they do, I, like, I reckon it's that they're doing it through a corporate credit card. <clears throat> Concerns of reselling of items. Not if you're buying one thing though, Seeker, and not if it's not a, like, it's not a limited edition thing. That's kind of... Banned from what? Banned from Throne, sorry. Um, but they've got, like, um... 
I think that they're just appearing as a susp suspicious merchant to a lot of these kind of companies. GameStop's on there, Barnes & Noble, Doc Martens, Patagonia. A few sex toy shops, but like, I mean, sure, okay. Um, like Bad Dragon, for example, is on the list. Um, Foot Locker, Coffee. I get that. That's, you know, I don't think Coffee actually sells stuff. I think it's just a subscription or whatever. Uh, Le Boton. <laughs> Le Boton, however you want to... Yep. Uh, Gymshark. Demonia. Paws.com, which I think is a like a pet store. Pet type thing. Best Buy. Le Boton's on here twice. Uh, Newegg. StockX. Ah, see I had something that was... Okay, yep, sure. Tiffany & Co. Lush. Like, the bath bomb store, Lush. Walmart. Spencer's. Gucci, Chanel. And Chemist Warehouse. Like, it's just, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting list. Interesting list. Uh, posture check I can do. Uh, I don't actually have any water with me at the moment, so I can't do the hydrates. Um, I don't really want to go do a chest room unless I have to wait for a queue. <laughs> I want to get them done. Yeah, it's really interesting because, I mean, like, most of them, like, I don't really care about. But, like, EB Games is a real, like, that's really inconvenient. Um, because, like, there's not really many other places in Australia to get physical gaming stuff. Um, like, games specifically. Uh, and then, like, Colourpop. That sucks, because I fucking love Colourpop stuff. Like, lately, if what I've been using, if if it's not mellow, it's been Colourpop. Like, you know, it, yeah. That really sucks. I do have two chest room redemptions, but like, yeah, like I said before, I don't really want to, I want to stay here and get these done as quickly as I can, so I don't really want to faff about with the chest room. Um, but if it hits a point where I have to wait for six minutes for a queue, then maybe I'll go grab a glass or something. go. Tank Q get. Tawny Windrider. <laughs> yeah, no map makeup today. There was gonna be, but then I was like, nah, fuck it. Like, I just, I wanted to pop something super simple on. So I did. This is mellow though. It's still from the treasure chest palette. I'm working my way through like all the shades. So I, I set myself up four different looks using three shades each because it's a 12 pan palette. Uh, and this is the third of four I've got one more to do, and I can stick them together and do an insta post. My <clears throat> oh, simple look is still fan fucking tastic. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a really light, like it's really quite pale. Um, I've got pearl in the crease, which is a, it's. Only like a whisper darker than my actual skin tone. So it's uh, like it's only just kind of visible. And then I've got amber on the outer corners, which is like a almost like an, a golden orangey sort of shade. Uh, and then crystal, which is a shimmery white on my lids. Uh, so it's all very, uh, very light. Simple because we can't see it. Yeah, the the uh, the lashes definitely hide quite a bit, but you can kind of see like that golden sort of tone just on the outside, and then just yeah, like white, shimmery, white, uh, which I think is kind of cool. Lip color choice. Ah, uh, this is Berlin, the liquid lipstick that I have from them. I've only got the one at this point because I got it out of the mystery box. Um, but you know, maybe I should add more of the collection. I did put Tokyo on my wish list, and Zarin was kind enough to purchase it for me. Uh, that was the like the dark purpley berry black kind of color so that's been delayed it's been shipped but it's been delayed um and then 
but they've got so many different beautiful shades. So I'm kind of tempted to put more of them on the wish list, but I don't know. I've got way too much lipstick as it is. I should use what I've got. <laughs> um, makeup is a technical thing then. It definitely can be. It definitely can be. Um, it is totally up to the individual how they use makeup. They can put it wherever they want, whatever product, wherever. Like, just because it says it's a blush for your cheeks doesn't mean you can't use it on your lips or on your eyes. Uh, you can use it however you so desire. That's the beauty of makeup. It's pigmented creams and powders. They go wherever you put them. Uh, some of them will wear off a little bit easier on some places than others, for sure. And, you know, powders may need a little something to help them kind of stick and things like that but uh yeah no you can put it wherever the hell you want to there are there are like this theory makeup theory as there is with everything you know like if you if you put if you want something to recede back you put a darker tone on it if you want something to come forward you put a brighter lighter shimmery kind of shade on it uh like i use bronzer just around here and what that does it makes my face look a little bit kind of slimmer it pushes that backwards and brings the front of my face forward uh, cause it's like, oh my god, Ewok, thank you so much for the cheer, holy shit, much appreciated, how are you? Welcome back, looks amazing, thank you, I have a new curler that I bought myself for my birthday, and I love it very much, this is the first time I've used it, and good lord it has worked well. Work is super busy, that is totally okay, enjoy your lurk, enjoy your lurk, much appreciated. Um, but yeah, so there are, there are definitely, like, there's makeup theory as to what looks right on, on different faces or how to use makeup to transform the shape of a face, uh, and stuff like that. But, um, in the end, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Rules are made to be broken sometimes. Feel like we're going over your outfit of the day? I mean, totally. My, I have regrowth, which is terrible, but the rest of my hair is, uh, Manic Panic. Vampire red, although it's fading at the ends. More like the top sort of color, the darker color, and then it's fading into like an orangey at the bottom. That's okay. Uh, so it's vampire red, and then I have this beautiful crop mock neck shirt that uh, Landar bought me from YesStyle. I can drop an affiliate link for that if you would like. Uh, the skirt is from H&M. I bought it years ago. Uh, the underpants are from Step 1. Not the bra though. I don't remember where the bra is from. Um, it's old. Very old. Uh, but I am wearing my step one underwear because of course I am because I always do. Uh, I'm not wearing anything beyond that down like I don't have socks on or shoes or anything. Uh, and then yeah, uh, my powder I've got I've got a uh, primer on that is Color by TBN is the brand, uh, and it's just primer. There's no fancy name for it. Uh, then I've got powder on my face which I think is Astralis, Astralis Fresh and Flawless. I think the shade is called Natural. Um, my, I've got a Peripera ink fitting eye primer underneath the eyeshadow. Then there's Model Co Instant Brow something something. It's like an angled pencil for brows. Uh, and then over that I've got from Elizabeth Mott a coloured, uh, on the, the shade of the pencil is medium dark. And then there's a the brand called Elizabeth Mott with an eyebrow gel that is called Auburn. It's like a red, it adds a bit of warmth to the, the pencil because I need a little bit because I've got my red hair. Uh, then, yep, uh, Mellow Cosmetics Treasure Chest Palette. I've used the shades Pearl, Amber, and Crystal to do the eye look. Um, the eyeliner pencil is from Pure Cosmetics. It's spelt P-U with an umlaut R, but they call it Pure. I don't know, it's fine. I'm not sure that's actually accurate, but whatever. Um, and then I've got another eyeliner that I've used on my waterline. That, oh, Axiom, thank you for the cheer. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you. Uh, the other eyeliner I'm wearing is, I think, Eye of Horus? I think it's Eye of Horus, is it? Yeah, Eye of Horus Goddess Pencil in the shade brown. I'm wearing Colourpop Mascara, the... Uh, the line is called Act Natural, the colour is brown. Um, and then I have Exo Beauty Lashes. The, sh the, the style is called Gold Digger. Yep. Um, my bronzer is Private Party from Colourpop. Uh, pressed powder bronzer. I then have a contour on which is NARS uh, brush... Uh, no, what do they call it? Blush br uh, 
contour blush duo. I think it's called a contour blush duo. Um, the shade is Olympia, which is their palest one, funnily enough. Uh, and then the blush is Pinky Promise from Mellow Cosmetics. Highlighter is Here Kitty Kitty from Colourpop, their pressed powder highlighter. Um, am I in the right spec? Good. And then I'm trying to think of what else I've got. And that's also the little highlight on the inner corner. And the lipstick is Mellow Cosmetics Liquid Lip. Uh, liquid liquid lipstick uh, in the shade Berlin and I forgot to put setting spray on but I will put setting spray on and when I do it will be Urban Decay or Mida Spray just the, the standard one because I've heard that the matte one spits little tiny white dots all over your face and no thank you but yeah and Wailera hair with the curler this is their dream wave uh, in the style, um, Onyx. Black Onyx, I think it's called. Yeah, Black Onyx. Because it comes in a bunch of different colours. So, you know, matches everything else on your nightstand or whatever. There you go. Uh, when I do put shoes on, they'll probably be heels. Because I, I can't, I, I can. Why not? Why not? Um... You know, I don't know what kind of shoes you're gonna wear. Um, yeah, probably heels. The what I'm thinking of, I've got a pair of heels that are like a narrow heel, like a stiletto style heel, but they're like little booties, um, with a bow on the front. Hang on, after this, when I'm changing tunes, I'll show you. I could probably go with the dark green ones. With this outfit, that'll work as well. They might be more comfortable to walk in, actually. Thinking about it. Maybe I'll do the maybe I'll do the bow heels tomorrow. Cause the the green ones have got a bit of a chunkier heel on them, so they're a little more stable for walking. And I'm gonna walk to sushi. Uh, you know, when I said last time, damn it, my bags are full, you didn't clear them out, did you? You actually cleared No, but oh look, I've been there. We've all been there. We've all done the thing. We've all done the thing. Thank you for the mellow link drop seeker. Much appreciated. Gold digger, yeah, because fear is a small. My feet no longer play nice with heels. Not uh, too long not wearing them. Uh, yeah, mine mine still hurt. I just say, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to wear them anyway. Yeah, see, look, I've got the thread that's, like, doing a thing. So, oof. Let me just pop myself in queue. But I have, like, dusty because I haven't worn them for a little bit, but I can get that off pretty easily. But I have, yeah, little black, they're like booty style, kind of, and they've got the little bow on the front, and they've got a zip on the back to get you in and out of them. And then I've got my green ones, which wear a little bit on the outside, but they're a chunkier heel, so they're easy to walk in, and they've got a zip on the inside to get them on and off. Yeah, it'd probably be one of those two, but I'm not sure which. I th I'm thinking maybe the green ones tonight so I can walk and then catch a bus to the place tomorrow um, so I can just walk a shorter distance. <laughs> Let's start get a lighter. Nah. Um... I have a feeling if I tried to light it, it the whole shirt would go up in flames. Um, but I also, because it's getting longer, I need to thread it through a needle and stitch it back up again. Stop it from unraveling the hem by just cutting it off. Um, yeah. That's okay. I'll restitch it up. Like, I've, I've made things before with a sewing machine and stuff, so I can definitely just hand stitch the last of a little hem. Um, fancy with the bow green ones have strong steampunk vibes. They're fucking awesome. I love them so much. So much. Got them from Yesstyle. Both of those are from Yesstyle, actually. The last couple days, I've been getting like double ups of blue stuff in some of these boxes. Interesting. The other more baby doll? Yeah. Yeah. Very different styles, but both of them just so wonderful. Don't set yourself on fire. Don't plan to. I do not plan to. Oof, yeah, no, I'm hungry, hungry now. Shit. That's right. I'll find something later. 
Okay, I have a needle in here somewhere. Fear hungry, probably yes. Always, I do have a lighter. I have a lighter in here though, but um, I don't think that's gonna be a good idea. Green thread on it from when I've uh, stitched up Jass's. Um, he loses buttons off his pants, so I fix them up for him sometimes. in queue, right? There you go. Needle is threaded. I'm a needle hanging off my shirt now. Sake with sushi tonight. Uh, possibly. But I believe we're going to a cocktail bar afterwards. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's that. Um, most amazing pair of zero. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are the D... Oh, there's one DPS there. Where are the other three players. Ah, oh, did they get locked out maybe? Investment piece, yeah. Two twenty nine is a lot for shoes. Yeah, I'm a I'm a tight ass. Like I can't. Typing is killing me. Oh, I'm sorry, Seeker. Oh, it's a one day. You can pregame with sushi. Fuck yeah. Now we'll spike the bubble tea before we go to sushi, and then have stuff with the sushi. It'll be great. I'm looking forward to it. dropped the needle for forgetting that it was poking through to, to touch me rather than on the outside. Oops. There must be something on this needle because it's not going through the fabric cleanly. Fixing the clothes, don't worry. Birthday in two weeks, because making contact with human flesh it is. It is, you are correct. Well, it was, it's not anymore. My tank spec. Yes, good. Jess 
said it was worth a try. I haven't got the um, I haven't got the the sound for it yet. I just don't think I have. All right, we're seeing at eighteen for three minutes. I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Yeah, she was looking people in red. Oh, right, yes, things. Oh dear. Ah, oh, this morning's been pretty full on. <clears throat> this whole weekend's gonna be pretty full on. About the same as last weekend, I think. Oops. I'll say today the kills from the fancy machine. They are! They are, and I'm very happy with them. Now I'm falling down a shoe hole. You should definitely check out your style, Zico. Because they have a lot of very, very cute shoes at very reasonable prices. Mm, she inadvertently influenced. Always. It's my thing. Can't you? Can't you? Haven't you noticed? We're supposed to fall down like potholes or sinkholes. Yeah, no one needs a new sink. Like, not unless you're buying a new house or renovating. But, like, how often do you really do that? Where's this going? Why am I making this look terrible? Probably. But it's holding together, and that, I think, is what really. Kind of sink fear. Where's this going? Into flesh. Probably. Not going to that. It'd be a lot easier to stitch this if I wasn't wearing it, but um, that's not what this stream is about. Unfortunately, I don't have an overlocker, so I can't fix it, like, properly. It kind of streams me about this. Have your earrings drawn? Ah, oh, right. I'm wearing my lucky earrings. That's it. Oh, uh, and Jas's Fitbit. <laughs> and Jas's Fitbit. will come unraveled the first time I wash it. Fucking, sorry. Scrape my fucking thing on the, um, on the pop filter and it scared the shit out of me, but it's fine. Your earrings? The, the green ones. The clover ones. That Anon bought me from Throne. Head but Yeah, just gently. Like, the, the plastic on here scraped on the plastic on the thing, but because it's all connected to my ears, it was really loud. <sighs> Gave me a heart attack, but it's fine. I hope you guys are okay. I hope it wasn't too loud for you. <clears throat> it's 
So we're still sitting at the 18. So we're not, I, I don't think we're gonna get locked out, which is good. Well, just ASMR mic rubbing. Well, it's not touching the mic. There's a, I've got a pop filter in front of the mic to kind of dampen that a little bit. But it is clamped onto the boom for the mic. If that makes sense. <laughs> All the butts. We have so many butts commands. It's great. Okay. I think... Okay, no. No, go away. They're gonna absolute mess, but I think it's gonna hold it together, and that's what matters. Uh, yep. It's an individual's choice what they do or, you know, watch. I'm. Um, sort of makes for an uncomfortable conversation when people keep asking you where your ex-boyfriend is. It's like, I don't fucking know. He's cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, so many shoes, such limited resources to purchase them. Exactly. It's the, it's the problem. And not only that, but such limited days in the week. Like, you need to, you need to give me more time. I need to be able to wear all of them. You know, like, come on. Fucking love shoes, but like, do I exit the house? No. So, so like, why am I gonna wear a pair of like several hundred dollar shoes around the house? Like, it's just, it's not a thing. Why are none of you starting the event? Like, I'm confused. Exactly, yeah. Like, I'm not leaving the house, so why the fuck would I wear? Yeah, mm-hmm. Exactly. It's all good, X. It's all good. Got the many hundreds of dollars sitting on a shelf, not getting used. That was a good investment, especially when they're like suede and dusty. Yep. Did you get those lovely curls with my new toy? It's on charge. It's a USB charger, so it's like sitting there. But um, yeah, it's my birthday present that I bought for myself, and I'm I'm so impressed with it. I'm so impressed with it. It's so good. Super fun to use too. So easy and super fun. No chance of burning myself. Not like it just, it was so good. So good. Same X Y back, didn't realize the background. The regulars are learning now though. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. It's been over a year, so like. <laughs> yeah. Come on, little man, drop already. I know, right, Seeker? It's like, fuck. I just. Please, please. I have the lucky earrings. I have done heartbreaking nails. I am trying. Please. Please. That's where I'm open to being influenced. Oh, I this I am not, I have no association with this brand whatsoever. Um, but the it's called Wylera, so it's like W-Y-L-E-R-A. Uh, and they do portable hair curlers. It's wireless, so it's it's like you charge it and then you just you, then you use it. And um, they have umpteen million instructional videos on their website. 
And so I was like, this looks fun. It's reasonably priced, let's give it a try. And so I did, and I like it. Yeah. Funny, when I thought I dropped the other day, squealed, closed window, panicked. Husband gave me all the what the fuck just happened looks. Yeah. Yep. It's... <laughs> We're all so invested, Seeker. We're invested. Yep. It's, uh, it's a time. It's a time. Oh, I'm starting to get, like, the dizzy hungries. But I don't think there's any, like, easy-to-eat snacks in the house that I can just grab while I'm, uh, doing my runs. Maybe that. Enough of that. No snacks. No. I don't really tend to keep snacks in the house because if the snacks are there, I just eat them. Like, all of them in a sitting. Like, although, actually, that being said, I think I do have cheese. I think I have cheese and crackers. Jazz, our charge needs food. It's weekday. He's working. <laughs> He is at work. But it's okay. Once uh, once runs are done, I'll go and put food in my face. It was for X. No, I don't have any water. No water. Not even like a drink, like not even a flavored drink or anything. I, I drank it all earlier. I, I did done fucked up, guys. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Clearly. Let me confer with my sources. No. <laughs> T. Oh, 22 to go. 22 to go. The six pointy rocket looking thingies. Yeah, there's not, there's no, I don't have six mounts. That's not, they don't stack. Mounts don't stack. <laughs> That's really funny. No, you trust me, you will know when it drops. You will fucking know. Rarity will make a noise. Like, rarity makes a noise. Then I will make a noise. Then I will reload the page to re-enable all the things. And then all the things will make a noise. There's fireworks? Yeah. It would have been fireworks. It's the same icon. It's no bueno, I'm supposed to talk to us for a couple of hours. There's no hydration, I know, right? That, yeah. Exactly. And you won't have eardrums. Correct. Correct. And then I'll apologize profusely. And and then I'll keep squealing. Should make all the noise. I will. Or none of the noise. That is the other option. I may be stunned silence type of thing. It really depends. But we'll see. Only one way to find out, and that's for the mount to fucking drop. Oh. <sighs> Goodness. Esters. How are both tank and healer cues taking this long? I don't understand. Oh, but I've hit 19. I'll probably drop to 18 by the time this run's finished. Oh god, yes. She grains her senses, noise will start. Exactly, Nano. Exactly. That is precisely how this will work. Is 
slightly stressful. Especially when people keep standing and stuff. It's like, do you want to live? People stand and stuff and then die and then blame the healer. And it's like, I was trying. But you would not, you were not helping. You were not doing your part of the job. post pics of your foobs on discord uh e yes jas may have to remind me to do so because i'm really bad at doing that i tend to just like live and then afterwards i'm like fuck i should have made content yeah it's um yep we've sp i've spoken about this a couple times before you know how people like there's this this instinctive thing where people like pull out their phones to record a concert or to record fireworks or to whatever like and I'm like, why, like, you're not, you, you're watching it through your phone? Like, do you know what I mean? But then I'm, I've got the absolute opposite problem. I always forget to document. No matter what I'm doing, I always forget to document what's going on. So yeah, I have the opposite issue. Oh, you're an influencer for you, don't get to leave. I know, I know, but I keep forgetting. Like, I'll be like, yes, food, I'm so hungry. And then I'll eat it. And then I'm like, shit, I cannot post a picture of an empty plate. People will yell at me. So, <laughs> just would remind you to, otherwise we'll tag you on Discord. Yep. The problem is I don't get Discord notifications on my phone because I don't. Uh, I've turned them off because I get so fucking many notifications across all of the social media platforms and stuff. So I turned them all off because it was literally getting to the point where I was spending more than half of my day checking notifications and shit. So I got rid of them all. And so I have a time that I sit down and I go through everything and, and check my messages and stuff like that because it just, otherwise it, it gets too much control of my life. And I don't get to, I don't get anything else done, which is a problem. Problem. This might fall over really quickly this time. I think my favorite runs are when they die before the next one spawns. They're my favorite. This one's close. Thirty down, twenty to go. Do you want do you want me to move? Yeah, well, that's not happening. Only twenty to go. We're over halfway there. The dust from the shoes is on my skirt. Oops. Rut row. I'm molting as well. Which is fun. Ugh. How long is this queue? One minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink and if it pops, I'll be able to hear it and I can run back. Ugh. I 
<clears throat> I know it popped. Wireless headsets. Aren't they amazing? So I have not got the drink yet, but... So, um, the how are we all? Does that include me? Or not? Because you seem to be talking about me in the third, like, like I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, look, um, I, I know it's kind of, I know it's a weird sort of situation when you're, like, in a chat with a, a streamer and stuff like that, but, like, you're absolutely able to speak to me directly. Um, speaking about me while I'm right here is, like, super awkward. Imagine, like, you know, you're sitting in a room talking about a co-worker or something and they're literally sitting across the table from you. Super awkward. Um... Just put it out there. No, I'm kind of hungry, actually. My stomach hurts, but that's fine. I'll get food after stream. Can't be going for that much longer. I've only got 20 tunes to go. Unless it drops, in which case it'd be over, like, great. It'd be awesome. Uh, chest trim, no drink. I know, I know. It's all right. After this one, I'll go and try and finish it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, kind of hungry, son, but doing all right. I hope you're doing well to do. Always just lurk. Totally fair. We love our lurkers here. Lurkers are incredibly valuable members of the community. Always. Let's get into queue and then I'll see if I can finish off making my drink. In before it's an instant pop. Back of my healer. Perfect. I'll change once I get in there. Um. I am busy showing COVID in New Zealand and Lonely Brunk. Oh, that sucks. Well, I hope things brighten up a little soon. Hopefully, they get it under control. Or, you know, as much under control as they can with how goddamn virulent this, this version is. Fingers crossed for you. Jeez, I at the moment. Yes, change someday soon, hopefully. Be faster at getting drinks. Look, maybe. I'm just gonna my friends. Well, that's interesting. Um. Interact with chat. Come back, thank you, X. It's been so long. Look, you. Look, you. I can't do anything. I have no mana left because I have not enough mana. What are they even doing? They're just running through patches of. They're running through patches of death. I'm not helping you. Just don't stand in shit. I'm not helping. <laughs> Ow. 
that we get? Um. Good afternoon, Tread. How are you doing? Just made a look, but not at what? Yourself. Man alone. That all you curse at me. I mean, yeah. But, like, I feel like you're used to that by now. It's, like, part of our kind of, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh. My life becomes your life as much as you want to do, I reckon. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, as with pretty much anything and everything in life, you need to apply self-control. Everyone has self-control. It's just a matter of how much you want to implement it. Um, but yeah. She's to play only an hour or so a week, or she's to do stuff daily. Exactly. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you used to it. <laughs> Today is the day, I believe. I would very much love to believe, Trud. We will see. We will see. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Um, there you game to play your style and time. If parent have little time to play, you used to play many hours every day. Yeah, exactly. It just it adjusts with your life, which is awesome. <sighs> um, yes, it was enjoyable AF, but I stopped playing. Fair enough. Not everything lasts forever. Sometimes we just uh. Yeah, we stop, we move on. My life for 15 years. <laughs> uh, the drink looked delish. Um, well, it's it's a bit interesting. So we tried to make a syrup out of the book and we failed. Uh, <laughs> we failed miserably. Um, but it's okay, we're gonna try again. There, we I know exactly what went wrong. I know exactly what went wrong. Uh, when one of you walks away and says to the other one, hey, can you keep an eye on that? And they keep an eye on their phone instead, and then it overcooks, and instead of turning into a runny syrup, it becomes jam. It's, yeah, but it's still very tasty jam, uh, and it does mix somewhat okay with water. It just, um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. But that's okay. We learned. We learned. Um, oh shit, I'm in the wrong spec. God damn it. Fine, you know what? I'm just gonna help them kill them faster so they don't die. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna give that one another try. Uh, but the jam is delicious. So I can only imagine that the syrup would be good. I need to get, uh, like some, some straining cloth to make a lot of the syrups. And I don't have I any, don't like, is it? In, uh... I think it's, is it muslin cloth that they talk about for cooking that you use to, like, strain liquids out of stuff. I think that's what I need. I don't remember though. Use chucks for cheese making. Oh. I have chucks. Well, I have rip-off chucks. I think I have rip-off chucks. That's a- ooh, I didn't even think of that. And it squeezes okay? Like it doesn't absorb too much of the fluid or anything? Although I guess, because this is the thing, when, when you're making cheese, you want what's left in the thing. Whereas I want what's out of the, like what comes out of the squeezing for like this, the soda stream syrups and stuff. Um, delicious fail drink, indeed. Just again with the burnt honey. Well, this was uh, strawberries, like half a kilo of strawberries, sugar, water, and vanilla. That's all that was in it. So it turned into jam, yes. Um, muslin is best or cheesecloth basically the same different density cotton chucks used once or twice works okay it's the weirdest thing I have read today which wait which bit which bit Yuri but yeah it is quite tasty it's just that like there's chunks if I tried straining it I'd probably get nothing out of it because it was all just cooked down into jelly hmm Mm. I use chucks for cheese making. Yeah, I mean, hey, if it works, and it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper than like, cause cheesecloth and muslin and stuff like that, I can only imagine that the markup on that shit would be ridiculous because it's an artisan craft, you know? So, yeah. You are <gasps> not prepared. Barry! Hello! Thank you 
for the raid. How are you? Welcome in. Oh, excuse me. You guys should definitely check out Barry. Barry is lovely. Use a hairdryer for tempering chocolate. For I bought a Bunnings heat gun, as in one used for hardware. Yep. Yep. I just used to temper chocolate on the stove. But that's... I don't know. Mm, hello, Exile. Welcome in. How are you? How is your stream? Tell me all the things. I want to know them. <clears throat> we stand the nail queen. Thank you. Thank you. These were fun to do. I feel so 80s. Like, they feel very, very much like 80s. You know, that whole, like, white background and then these big blocks of colour and stuff? Yep. I feel very 80s. Can't initially have these actuals. You need to find something that works. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> I'll have to see if we have any chucks left. And then, like, reserve one for only using with food. And I can wash it in the, um... I'm assuming that I could wash it in the uh, laundry, in with in with clothes and stuff, um, because I don't use like I don't use fabric softener or anything like that. So there's nothing that would be left on the clothing on the the chucks that would like dissolve into the food or anything. And I could always do it in a load by itself if I needed to. I helped a secret agent restore his shattered psyche a bit and did a collectathon. Amazing! That actually sounds legit awesome. What did you play? What was that? Uh, to bring fine chocolate, making melt on a stove, use direct heat to raise to seven temp without burning, cut over water as easily, yeah, and then let it cool to get the right sheen, yeah. Yeah, I've done tempering, like, I've done, like, your standard tempering, not to get it, like, beautiful and amazing and perfect, just to get the snap. Uh, and that worked pretty well. It didn't look super gorgeous, but it snapped, and that was what I wanted. Psychonauts? Gotcha. I've never played Psychonauts before. Both will... Wash once or twice the machine, then disintegrate. Yeah, you can't use chemicals, obviously. So easy to hand wash. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm, noted. Noted. Use and wash in saline water. Uh, or iodine, ideally. Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, so it looks like it's snappy and delicious. Sometimes, the, like, you eat with your eyes first. So sometimes the way that it looks is super important. But when I'm doing it, like, at home... Yeah. Uh, when I, the last time I tempered chocolate, uh, it was for a partner's birthday cake. Um, and so I got, I had white chocolate, half of the white chocolate I tinted pink, because it was like a chocolate raspberry cake that I made. Um, uh, with, with QP mayonnaise, by the way, because it is amazing at retaining moisture. Uh, you're welcome. But yeah, I had like chocolate shards on top, like just as decoration, just kind of shoved into the cake at random angles. So I had white chocolate and white chocolate that I had tinted pink with just a tiny, like a tiny bit of food coloring. And I kind of like spread them all over the acetate sheet, just kind of dribbled them sort of everywhere. Uh, and then I poured the milk chocolate over it as my tempered chocolate and it snapped and it was pretty. It didn't have the shine to it like it was supposed to, but it looked gorgeous. Like the splatters everywhere looked awesome and it Snapped like it was meant to, and everyone was very impressed, and that's all that mattered. So <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. I do like creating stuff like that. It just takes so much time uh, for something that gets eaten so quickly. So yeah, a food good. I don't know. They don't. Not most people do not. Indeed, I'm glad I don't eat with my eyes. Fair, fair. I do. I love the way something comes out. It's like, oh, look at that. Doesn't it look amazing? And then I eat it and it tastes just as good. It's so disappointing when something looks great and then tastes not great. Not necessarily bad, just the taste, the flavor doesn't live up to how awesome it looks, you know? Yeah. I am, I am absolutely a foodie. I am 100% a fucking foodie and I, I don't care. I like food. Going off of the counter, 18. Yeah, no, we're fine. We are fine. <clears throat> I love 
having these conversations with you guys while I'm doing these runs. It makes them feel like they're going quicker, even though they're absolutely not. It's been fine. Totally. I was reading, I was browsing through Reddit today. And um, there were a lot of, like, a lot of stories about, um, like, being switched at birth and stuff. And, like... You know, not or not not quite switched at birth, but like realizing that one of your parents isn't your parent or something. Do you know what I mean? Like all these kind of like paternity or, or adoption stories and stuff like that. And I'm like, holy shit! I am so glad that I look exactly like my mother mixed with my father, and my mannerisms and the way that I sound, like my laugh and all this kind of stuff, is directly ripped from like one or both of my parents. I like there is no doubt of where I belong genetically. And I'm so glad of that. Cause good Lord, they so much drama and like, my goodness. And then I fell down a rabbit hole and, um, cause there was a, there was a story of a, a 15 year old who, you know, live in their life. They didn't quite fit in with their siblings and they weren't quite the same as their parents, but like, you know, they weren't adopted, all this kind of stuff. And then out of the blue one day, they get a call from a, a like a social worker to say, hey, we have an orphaned 15 year old here who has a genetic link to you. And they do and they're like, you know, so what's going on? They do some digging and it turns out that this 15 year old was actually the, the daughter of these of these parents. And this girl who was also 15 there, they had, they'd been switched at birth. And f first learning about it is because her sister has reached out to this family because the, the parents are dead. They died in a car accident. She's been orphaned and didn't want to go into the foster system and so took a DNA test to try to find a family link. Like, you know, one of those 23andMe type dealies. And uh, and found, finds her actual parents through that. And it turns out, yeah, they've been switched about. And so someone um, uh, had po posted a link there of uh, a couple of kids who had been, again, switched at birth, and they didn't realize until they were in their 50s because um, one of, they, they ended up, because it was a very, it was a Newf Newfoundland, very small communities and things like that, and there were these two, like one person overheard in another room, a coworker having a birthday thing, and they said, oh, what's going on? It's, oh, it's such and such's birthday. It's like, oh, it's my birthday too. And she goes, Oh, how, how old are you? Oh, I'm 52. Where were you born? And it was like, uh, at this, at this place. And she just freaks the fuck out and piss bolts. Cause it turns out the guy she was talking to is a spitting image for her husband, whose birthday it was, brother. And they're like, hang on a second. They share the, he, he shares the same birthday as you. He's turning the same age as you. He was born in the same fucking hospital as you, and he looks just like your brother. And you look nothing like any of your siblings. And it turns out, yeah, they'd been switched at birth, but at that point, both sets of parents were gone. Uh, and as they dug into it, this was not the only time it had happened at that hospital. They're talking like 20 to 30 different families very nearly ended up, ha like were handed a baby and have kind of said, this isn't my baby. Like, have, you know, like, where, where's my child? This is not my child. Give me my child, please. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, oh my God. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Such a banana situation. Yeah, right? Poor person finds out they were swapped and that now their parents are dead. At 15. At 15. Um, yeah, so it's, whew, it was a big thing. Um, there was, they, they felt like they didn't belong and they were all like re just really not doing well and all this kind of stuff. Um, and in the end, it turns out, like, when um, they had this big, huge thing, this big, huge life event of theirs happen and um, felt and none of the family really, like, felt like none of the family really cared. There was a part of it in there. They couldn't have the thing because COVID and blah, blah, blah. They couldn't have, like, a party or anything. But then only a few weeks later when restrictions had eased, her, her sister, who's the one who actually belongs with the family, um, you know, the, the biological the biological daughter has a, a an event happen and they throw a massive party and there's this big old, you know, shebang and all this kind of stuff. And so she just felt really 
othered and just left out and rejected and all this kind of stuff. And so she went to quietly leave and the 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 newfound biological daughter says, where are you going? Like calls out and everyone kind of turns. And so she just bursts into tears and runs away. Uh, and then she's, you know, hiding by herself, posting this thing on, on Reddit. And, and then there's an update because I'm on best of Reddit or updates because it's just so good. Uh, and then, you know, months later she comes back to say, turns out, after I ran away and was posting the thing and crying and stuff, she came and found me. And we just sat together and cried for hours and hours and hours. And they became the best friends. And she... Fucking hell. She defended her... Uh, her the, the non-biological daughter to, to everyone. Because, you know, yes, okay, she doesn't quite look like us. And she doesn't have the same affinity. She's not athletic and she's not, um, like... Uh, academically gifted but she's an artist she like because they were all very sporty and very book smart and all this kind of stuff but she you know found an affinity with art instead um and yeah they def and it you know it turns out that the biological daughter the adopted daughter reminded her of her her adopted parents the ones who died because she looked like them she had her dad's eyes and her mum's nose and all this kind of and so she you know latched onto that in a in a healthy way judging by the post but um and they just, yeah, they became inseparable, which I think is really beautiful. Um, but, like, fuck, man, it's so fucked up. So fucked up. I can't imagine, like, the feelings and all that that would be associated with that. Holy shit. Um, a smart kid doing a DNA test and finding her parents like that. Well, she wasn't expecting to find parents. She didn't know she was switched at birth. Like, this wasn't an actual adoption. This was switched at birth, unaware that it had happened sort of thing. Um, and so she was hoping to find, like, a distant aunt or uncle or something who could take her in rather than going into the foster system. Um, and yeah, managed to find her fucking parents. Like, good lord. I don't know, obviously, you know, it's on the internet. Not everything you read on the internet is true. Um, but it is pretty fucking mind-blowing. Pretty fucking mind-blowing. Um. Mm. But yeah, it's kind of, um, whew, fun times. But yeah, no, I, uh, I look just like my mum and I look just like my dad, even though they look very different from each other. Uh, and I, I have so many of the same mannerisms as both of them and all that kind of, like, it just, I am absolutely my, my mother and father's daughter. And I'm, I'm really thankful for that because they're pretty awesome people. But yeah, fucking trip. Lies. Everything on the internet is 100% true. The internet told me so. <laughs> yes. Good. Wonderful. Ah, oh, Seeker. Ah, oh, Seeker. There's no mistaking me from either side of my family besides not being outgoing like everyone else is. Yeah, but that's like one, one little difference. I mean, obviously, you know, one difference can absolutely be... But, but then when you look at everything in total, like this person had different skin tone, like different undertones in their skin. They had different interests, they had different mannerisms, they had different hair color, different eye color, like all this. They looked like they were adopted and they behaved, they just, they had different affinities from the rest of the family. Um, which is, uh, yeah. I don't like... But the thing is, though, like, you know, from the parents' perspective, it's like, no, we brought you home from the hospital. Like, I guess, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah. Ooh, and then, of course, then you have the ones where it's like, you know, you look very similar to all your siblings and stuff like that. And then you do, you go and do the, the, the DNA test for funsies with your, with your family. There was one I read a while ago that was like, he, his brother, and one of his cousins all took the test together. They bought it as a birthday present for, for the, like, the original post, like, the, the main person. Mm. And it turned out he was a closer relation to his cousin than he was to his brother. And then they started prodding and poking. And it, then, they, then the uncle was like, well, hang on, no, I absolutely definitely did not do anything along those lines. So he went and got a test, and it turned out that, in terms of genetically speaking, the uncle was his brother 
not his uncle. And then they, they and then there was this whole horrible story of, of family abuse and all this kind of shit. And it was like, Jesus fucking Christ. And the guy ends the post by saying, I am never spending my birthday money on this kind of shit again. <laughs> it's like, fuck, man. Good Lord. Oh, it just... The, like, I know this shit actually happens. I know it does because there are, like, this kind of stuff comes up in, in news articles and things and not, like, you know, just random Reddit posts. But fuck. Like, taking that to your mum and being like, I'm not my brother's brother. What the fuck is going on? And her not wanting to talk about it and then the son kind of, you know, taking offense to that and being like, did you sleep with, did you sleep with your, your husband's brother and all this kind of shit? And then it's like, no, she doesn't want to talk about it because it's fucking traumatic. And like, whoa, mm. <sighs> I'm so glad I don't have family drama like that. Like, fuck. Fuck, man. There's enough of that shit in like the drama shows. Fuck. Anyway. I fall down lots of really interesting Reddit holes. My, my, like, my feed on Reddit is fascinating. Fascinating. Into family adoptions are also majorly a thing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially when it was, like, teen parents and stuff like that that often be, like, adopted and, and raised as their sibling rather than their child and stuff like that to try to, like, something, something, the family shame or whatever, which is... That, that part is bullshit, but, I mean, you know. Parents who hadn't planned on having any more kids taking in the child of their 14-year-old their and stuff, that's kind of, it's a pretty big step up. But, like, yeah, it's all sorts of, like, I can't imagine. So, I have an uncle who was adopted. Um, and he has always known he is adopted. Like he's he's always been told ever since he was young, like very young. It's never even been a consideration to try to hide it from him, right? Um, so I just like not telling a child something so important about their identity. And not just their identity, but medical history. Like, you know, if there are any genetic things, I mean, obviously. A couple generations back, that wasn't really something we knew a whole lot about, or at least we didn't know as much about it as we do now. Um, but, like, allowing a child to understand, like, you know, genetically speaking, these are the things that could come up in your future in terms of, you know, genetic illnesses and, and predispositions and stuff like that. I feel like that's really important. Uh, and it definitely is these days. It, all of these posts about adoption and stuff, one of the first things they discuss is medical history, uh, which is cool, which is really good. But... Yeah, it just, I don't know. I feel like attempting to hide something so integral to their origin story from a human, they are not going to be 12 forever. There is a point at which they are going to be an adult and they are going to get a, a, no matter what happens, there's going to be some little trigger. They're going to find out. And you are not going to look great for hiding it from them forever. The number, again, Reddit stories. The number of Reddit stories I've read where it's like, my biological parent found me. It turns out they did want to have a, a you know, they, they wanted to have a, a relationship with me, but my, my parents refused to. They refused to even tell me that they existed. They hid my birth certificate from me, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm getting married and I want to invite my biological parents as well as my adoptive parents, who I still love. And the adoptive parents say, no, we didn't want to lose you. We didn't want to tell you about them because we were afraid you'd love them more than you love us and we were afraid to lose you. Yeah, but lying to them into their 30s and then refusing to be in the same room as them, that's how you make them cut you out. Like, people are idiots. I mean, I understand that emotion makes people idiots. It makes me an idiot. Uh, I absolutely, when I get really, really emotional, I make really fucking stupid decisions. Uh, but, like, this is 30 years worth of stupid decisions. Like, how? Anyway. Um. Uh, 
or an unwed daughter births a baby away from everyone, then their mama raises the baby. Yeah, that thing, that kind of thing too. Absolutely. Especially like not, not as much these days. It still happens these days, but not as much. But yeah, raises a sister. Yeah, we think that happened in my family. Great grandmother who would never admit to it. And my grandma was adopted. Even when family members were asking because of medical reasons at the time. Unfortunately, chosen one, you've just missed out on this one. I'm just switching specs. Sorry. The healer cues are popping real quick today. Um, uh, at the time, 100-year-old great-grandmother said, we don't talk about that. Exactly that. Yeah, multiple members with cancers in the same spot trying to develop family history. I was a clinician, she died 108 and took it to the grave. Yeah, but she, she wouldn't admit to it, but everyone else fucking knew. Like, at that point, I'd just be assuming. If they're refusing to even say, no, that's not true, and to say, we don't talk about that, nah, fuck that. I'd be telling the doctors, look, this is the official story, but this is what we think has happened. So that you can get an accurate, you know, it, at least then the doctors can say, okay, well, if this is the case, here's the deal. And if this is the case, here's the deal. Um, it might mean they have to do twice as many tests for genetic sh things and shit, but who gives a fuck if it gets you an answer? Like, good lord. <clears throat> Nowadays, it's so much easier to, you just send away, you know, you buy a little box kit off the internet, swipe your cheek, send it off, and four weeks later, you know. <laughs> Are out. I heard rumors that my grandfather was adopted. Never got confirmation when I got my ancestry test at showing relatives I can't figure out how I'm connected to other than the explanation my grandmother was adopted. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Holy cow. I have an ancestry DNA kit to do because my parents are both O type and I'm A. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, well... I hope that whatever you discover or don't discover, you absolutely have the right to choose not to follow through with it. Just keep that in mind, Dory. But if you do choose to go through with it, uh, I hope that everything turns out okay. I hope that they are understanding of why you did it. Um, can... Can you get those kind of mut- not- not in blood- blood type mutations are really rare, right? <clears throat> yeah, so they are very rare, but they can happen. It is technically possible for two O-type parents to have a child with A or B blood, and maybe even AB, although this is really unlikely. Uh, in fact, a child can get almost any kind of blood type if you consider the effects of mutations. There you go. But yeah, it'll be really interesting. I hope, I hope that if you do, like, I hope that whichever choice you make, uh, whether or not to go through with it, that you are comfortable with it. Um... Two is kind of make an A. I have two O parents and I'm an A, and my sister is an O. Yeah, it can happen. It's, it is, it, the mutations are possible. They're absolutely possible. Um, that's how most things end up happening. Um, uh, like, you know, some cancers are a genetic mutation and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it, it can, it is rare, but you might just be fucking special. Like a real fucking special, like Seeker. Your doctor told me it wasn't possible. Well. <laughs> well. Mutations are absolutely impossible. Like, yeah, for sure. I'm not gonna have three potential donors for me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, here's, here's your question. This is what I read from Dory. Um, and that's not a random fucking like a Quora kind of deal, you know, that's a, um, that's a, a school website that they run. Um, and it explains exactly how it could happen. Maybe you should send it to your doctor. Okay. 
But yeah, uh, mum's an O. We don't know what da what type dad is. I'm an O. And my brother, my biological brother, is an A. So we know, we, we reckon that dad's either an A or an AB. And uh, knowing my father, he's probably a fucking AB, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, hello, do I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you today? Hope you are wonderful. But yeah, look... Stuff like that, Dory, is at, it's, it is rare. It's very rare. But it is absolutely possible. It's, it's absolutely possible. It is just very rare. Uh, it may be worth doing the test anyway if you have other concerns. Like, but if, if you look like your parents and, and you have a lot of the same mannerisms and, and stuff like that, um, then, you know, and, and some of the, you know, uh, any illnesses or something that you've had in the past and they link up with your parents genetically, then I, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, but I mean, it can be great to do a DNA test anyway for a variety of reasons, uh, but it is a very personal decision to make, like a, a very personal decision. And a lot of them you can also um, like flag that you don't want to be listed as a potential relative of people or do you know what I mean like because you know how the whole they find people and it's like oh my god I have this long lost three times removed cousin or whatever um you can check a box to not have that happen so that you don't have just random people reaching out to you whenever uh but yeah good I'm glad to hear that do you wonderful news It's fun because, you know, exceedingly rare might mean one in a million. But when there's, what, eight billion humans on the planet? It's a lot of people to have that exceedingly rare thing happen. even know that it is exceedingly rare we might need to get a geneticist up in this his house exactly absolutely absolutely um but yeah it was kind of just more using it as an example like even if something is exceedingly rare um it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like do you know what i mean A really interesting article actually <laughs> now that I'm clicking through it 
I'll be right back. Let them in and unlock the door. Hopefully they'll make themselves at home on the couch a little bit. Oh, they'll come in. They're cool. Um, panic! All the panic. All the panic. <sighs> so how is everyone else doing today? What are your plans for this evening? Which was usually a fear stream and is not a fear stream today. <laughs> Tell them to bring luck. Welcome. Look, hopefully. Just. For God's sake. My stepfather got the level wrong, and so they went trying to find my apartment, couldn't, and then couldn't get in the lift to go up because it had locked out already. Because uh, it's only like when when you let them in the door, it only unlocks the lift for a certain amount of time to prevent like you know bad shit. <sighs> yep, that's funny. Every time, I don't think there has been one time that Mum has visited me here and she has gotten into the building on the first attempt. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. Afternoon washing my wife's car for her. Oh, lovely. Crom, that's so kind of you. Farming in Shadowlands, pick up alchemy on the priest stone. Need to go to the post office, pick up a book package. Yay! What's in the book package? What's in it? You don't have to be specific. And you don't even have to tell me at all if you don't like. You can just say books. Um, <laughs> choosing a stream always improve my mood. It's been an hour later in Planet Side 2. Oh, nice. I don't think I've ever played Planet Side before. I hope you enjoy it. Package that sounds awesome, right? Doesn't it? Oh, for God's sake! Oh. Sure, because the press all buttons. Hang on, I can't. Hang on. Sorry, no, because the doors are locked. You can't go up the stairs. Because it, it prevents people from getting into the building without key. <laughs> Um, hang on a second, I'm on, I'm on stream, um, give me a minute, I'll be, I've just, no, it's fine, I've just gotten into it, I can't come down right this second, because I'm in a group with a bunch of people, and it'll fuck them over, and they're strangers, so, um, I'll be, uh, in the foyer, in the foyer is fine, uh, I'll be, this is conditioning, alright, I'll see you soon, I'll see you soon, yep, bye. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to take another chair stream shortly, guys. Um...
<laughs> um. Uh, are you nervous? No, no, <laughs> no. Um. No, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. Um, all right, I'm going to switch tunes and then I'll have to be back in a minute because, um, yep. Uh, starting a couple of days. So anxious about it. Oh, lucky. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's like crazy having my mum so close. I was until everything went wrong. It Every time. <laughs> every fucking time um i will i will be back Hi. Okay. Next cue. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. We're good. Everything is fine. Um, second book in the series I've been waiting for ages. Inheritance games. The first one. Hawthorne Legacy. Oh, I've heard of that one. I've heard of Hawthorne Legacy. I don't know anything about it, but I think I've heard of it. Here you go. Be a quick read. Oh, good. Oh, Seeker. Look at you. You're adorable. Thank you. No more shit. Oh, excuse me. It's all right. I'll redeem it myself, X. Hello, Zeren. Hello. How many to go? Six more to go. Six more to go, and then I'll be done. Cheated with the rarity count. Yes. Okay, I'll turn the guys. For those of you who haven't met her before, this is my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to grab Hello. the? Okay, the I'm camera's looking. there. Oh. <laughs> do you want to grab the yeah. chair? Yeah. It's on wheels, so it'll pull straight out. Well, there's the pretty thing. Yeah. No, stop apologising, good lord. 
<sighs> well, I've just turned the aircon on, so it should get a little warmer. Oh, there we go. Huh? What's that? Oh, yeah, because it's lovers in the air. It's the Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. And look, I've got lucky earrings as well. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Tom Lacking. Wow. Well. <sighs> yep, I've got six more characters to run and then <laughs> and then I'm done. But this is this is fear, Mum. <laughs> We're talking Hello. about genetics and all sorts of fun stuff. Because oh, really? um Dory, <laughs> uh one of the one of the viewers, um has A type blood and oh, yeah. both of their parents have O type. And their doctor told them it was impossible. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, it's not. Mutations exist. And a paper from Stan, uh, from Stan, Stan, what's the university that starts with Stan? Big university, I can't remember. I've closed the pad, they closed it up right now. I'm like, mutations exist. DNA yeah. mutations can happen. Yeah. And it, it happens. I mean, they've got a DNA kit if they want to take it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, it could be good to know just in case. However. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're lying to you. <laughs> no, not necessarily. Oh, not necessarily. Hello. Yeah, so this is, um, they're very 80s, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Aren't they awesome? So the mount that I'm trying to get mm -hmm. is... This one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and okay. so chat said I needed oh, heartbreaker nails. Oh so I God, yeah. so I did heartbreaker <laughs> nails. And uh yeah, they're very Wow, they look so <laughs> cute. Yeah, that's what you were trying to explain to me. The the, the pink the thing. Oh the, the pink rocket thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 How are you oh your nails are nice. Um, not falling apart. Yeah, yeah mine used to peel, remember? No, they're pointy. And they don't peel. How was the trip? How was lunch? Nice. Yeah. Warm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you like the aircon? <laughs> yes. I like the aircon. From, I walked. You walked? From, you know. S like Brisbane City City? No, or? no, no, no. Just from, you know, oh, the okay. new shopping centre up there. Yeah, yeah, I know the one. Yeah, okay, yep. I walked from there. Ah, yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad, but yeah, um, I'm glad you got some water though, because it is it is warm. <laughs> yeah, it's warm out there. Yeah, it's warm. Uh, okay, scrolling, trying to catch up on chat. The actual family. You guys are the actual family. This is family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. slight difference. Yes. Um, I gave birth. To yeah, <laughs> you did uh, a little while ago. Just like, just like it was 24 years or something. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, first one's like, girl gets this really rich guy's inheritance and the family doesn't, so she has to work with him to figure out why, and there's really? a second one after. Yeah, oh, so this is yeah, chat yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when I chat, that's what you see. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Fears, Mum. And then Hello. this is how many people are watching. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, and that's how long I've been going for, and clips are fun, and yeah. Yeah, that's there. nice. Fear, Mum! It is a Fear, Mum. There you go. So, so it's Yori, and Shiva, and Krom, and V. Lucky and Sam and uh, Saren and Dano and Koala and Landa and Sika and X and and Dano. Yes, welcome to Hot Brizzy indeed. Yeah. Hello, M Loves T. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. See how it says first time chat from viewer? Uh, it means that I know that M Loves T has never said anything here before. Uh, and so they've joined us just to say hello. Well, which is wonderful. That's nice. Yeah, exactly. So I thank them. I say hello. hello. M Loves T. I also love tea. I usually yes. add way too much sugar and then jelly to mine, though. Uh -huh. I like bubble tea. <laughs> but I also love tea tea as well. I've got a lot of it. This is so lovely. Must be very exciting for you both. It is. Hello. It is. It Hello. is. Two Hello. years and two days. That's it's ridiculous. Crazy, it? It's ridiculous. That's Stanford! Like that was it. Though. Thank you, guys. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, Stanford that's the one. University. That's yeah, it. they had an uh, they had a thing talking about how it can be possible for two O parents to have an A baby and all this kind of stuff. Oh, so yeah, it was interesting. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. It's like Stanford. Yeah. Baby two da 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 baby two na na. Fear mum luck come through. Look, I really bloody hope so, Shiva. Yay. It would be great if mum could be my good luck charm. Yay. Um but it looks like Yay. not so much for the Q times. So <laughs> we'll see how we go. Um Fear my Mum is here indeed. Love your hair, Fia Mum, says Lucky. My hair? Yeah, your oh, hair. Because the blonde and the black and stuff. Oh, like... I just had my, I've got hat hair. I just put it <laughs> up. I've just combed out my dreads. I've got four left. I've yeah? Four oh, I see. Oh, cool. That's really funky. Am I in healer mode? I am good. 
You go, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, hope you had a good flight and lunch. They drove. They drove. <laughs> they drove. <laughs> Byron Bay. Yeah. Which is nice. Fear from the side reminding me of Emma Stone. Hey, yeah. firstly, you are actually not the first person to tell me that. Yeah. I don't like ta- saying it because I feel like it's bragging, but yeah. I, I think that. Mm, and there was a, there was, a, I, when I was working at a very prestigious location in Sydney back when I lived there, and I went to, I was invited to an invite only That's party that had actual legitimate celebrities. Like, um, I mean, regardless of what you think of her, I was approximately less than a meter away from Paris fucking Hilton at the t- right so like this is the level of people I'm talking about right so not like like A-listers but also like not exactly nobodies either um, and I had at least I can't even remember but it was at least one person stopped me and asked me if they had managed to get Emma Stone for the party and I'm like no no <laughs> but thank you <laughs> So yeah, I was, um, that was also the party at which I learned all these fucking socialites drink vodka and water as their drink of choice, because then they can get drunk and also stay hydrated and there are no calories so we don't put on weight. I was like, that's boring. I'm having a lemon, lime and bitters. Thank you. Mm. So (laughs) that was fun. Yeah, Yeah. look, people are idiots. No, it doesn't taste like shit. I tried one. It was disgusting. (laughs) But hey, like if they want to, if they want to get buzzed and not have to worry about like their macros and stuff, then that's cool. That's on them. If that's their choice, they can do what they want to do. But I'm, I'm going to drink them a sugar. No. Um, actually, I have to show you once I've done these rounds. Um, do you remember when you learned how to play WoW? Yeah. And you made a Draenei Shaman called Purple Heart. Yeah? Okay, I'll have to show you something. And I beat Wilton. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, right. Uh, I can see the little love the cautious non docs Yeah! Mum is very aware. Uh, she knows what I do and how, and how it can affect shit. Um, <laughs> hello, Anxious. How I are you? <laughs> you might remember Anxious Potato. Um, we met her in Melbourne. Oh, yeah. Uh, you remember? Yes. 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 Has hello. had a name. Has had a username change, but uh, okay. is yeah, is yeah, the yeah. same person you remember. Cool. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. She know the game. She do. She do. I mean, I've been doing this for <clears throat> nearly six years, so she's learned. She didn't at the start, but yeah. she's learned. Isn't it more than that? Nope. Other times when I say roast dinner's ready, and it's like we can't. No, no, it. streaming, as in not letting out. So oh. doxing, the cautious non-doxing. Doxing is the releasing of personal information yes. that would allow yep. people to harass yep. and stalk yep. me. Yes. We don't like that. No, no we, we don't. don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a uh, like yeah, that's a. Uh... Fia mm. now has merch. What I do have merch. Have there's a. Do you see under the boot there? Do you want to pick oh, that up? Oh, <laughs> the town. Yeah. How come I have? one of these because uh, I, I guess I didn't tell you um <laughs> whoops um I can definitely yeah they come in a bunch of different colors too I think there was a purple one but they might have I can't remember oh my God. um and I have Jas has got one of these as well his mask is charcoal and his shirt is dark green but um I have oh no way that's ice. how cool is that oh my god it's beautiful yeah it's my burb yeah love the verb <laughs> love mum just like subtly adver- like adverting well, like get the, um, yeah they're from yes style that's what i'm thinking of wearing today um they're and i'm thinking of wearing the other ones tomorrow because are they uncomfortable no actually they're really like have a look inside them like if you unzip the side of those ones they're kind of they're fluffy on the inside um and it helps it, like oh, there's no yeah okay. there's no running a little bit but they only come up to like here yeah, so yeah. it's yeah mm-hmm. um Sorry? Yeah, I do have much bigger feet than you remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like size fucking nines. Um, enjoy our time together and beautiful family hugs. Always. Always. Oh, very lucky. Absolutely. Lucky. <laughs> yes, I am. In the flesh. That's In the flesh. Oh my god. Uh, then a good drive. Yes, I hope you had a good drive as well. Do I got to take it for Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. Oh, wait, I need to open the box. So distracted, you guys. Oh, hi! (laughs) (laughs) Vodka and water. I know, it's disgusting. Don't even get me started. Sorry? It's not a very nice... 
um, rub the top of the thing on your shirt or whatever because there might be like gunk. Oh, I've found when I do my selfies. Oh, up here. For, yeah, over the camera lens. So Is you wipe movies? off the camera lens. Where's yeah. the camera lens? I can't That's see right. anything. I can see one. it now. Yeah, oh, the little spot. Yes, yeah, so if you if you rub that off. Um, oh God, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes the it makes the photos a hell of a lot clearer. Mm -hmm. And I do the same with the one on the back because if you like touch it and stuff and you get fingerprints, oh, yeah, it gets it yeah. That. But the one on the front has a yeah. You got to clean that off as well, otherwise you get blurry photos. Tips from influencers. <laughs> That's what I am now, haven't you heard? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, wife and I are driving up to Queensland in May. You're going to have to invest in some sugar-free monster sort of face plant into the steering wheel. I would definitely recommend that. Also taking regular breaks to, like, stretch your legs and do some star jumps and shit. Like, keep yourself a while alive. Um, so if your mum has a similar aesthetic brilliance, yeah. We've got very different styles, but we are, like, yeah, she... Mum always dresses lovely. She always looks gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the colours suit you so nice. Like pale blues and stuff just look so goddamn good on you. They real they always okay. have. They are so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. I don't oh no, I'm, I better not. Why not? I put sweaty oh do you not think They're that so I put sweaty pretty, them? Pretty, aren't they? Like <laughs> anybody hear the stuff? It's quiet. Bookie Sound effects. <laughs> Come on, do the thing. <laughs> Um, well, it's music. Yeah, that's the wow music. <laughs> that's the so cool. Yeah. Trying to move back to Melbourne. Glad to see you made it up here safely. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, me too, hey. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> no docs, exactly. Both look so happy. It's heartwarming to see. Oh, thank you, Lucky. Yeah, look, I'm two, di two years, two days. Oh, dear. Mask merch, indeed. Oh, my God, for you didn't tell your mum about your merch. I'm sure I did, but... Maybe yeah, just in passing or something. Did. It might have been one of those phone calls. I was like, guess what, mum? I have 27 awesome things to tell you. And so it all just kind of blends into each other. Um, yes. <laughs> buzzing with good energy, fear, big feet, still small. I have got huge feet for my height. I've got fucking size nine women's feet on a 5'3 frame. Like, they're huge. They're huge. Influencer. Star jumps equals jumping jacks. Yes. Yeah. Because you make a star. And then you don't. And then you do. And then you don't. Yep, it's, yep. <laughs> ah, we spam and you take the heads away. I didn't take it away. Mum took it off and gave it back to me, so I accepted it. Because it's the your... headset when you took the headset off and gave it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. They look like you. Were... <laughs> I've got. I promise um, you, you weren't. <laughs> these ones as well. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, they, I can't play the sound through both of them at once, though. So, um, no, and it's also got right. a little bit of kiss my head eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're but nice. yeah, um, they're so pretty, and they're so they're little as well. Like they're yeah. designed for people with smaller heads oh, or yeah. children, so oh. they fit me. And they'd, yeah, that'd be my size. Too. Yeah, absolutely. But they're gorgeous. Yeah, you're right. They're absolutely pretty. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> so we've clearly got a, a DK in here who fancies themselves a tank. That's funny. Um. We go mount time. Look, a bloody will hope so. We've got three tunes to go. Three tunes to go. Mm. Would you like a bubble tea today? Um, maybe we just go. got a restock. <laughs> mm. How is stepdad going? Is he going and collecting stepbrother still? <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're just. He's just. Arrived. The merchandise. <laughs> <way back. laughs> awesome. Bubble tea and gin. Set. Bubble tea and gin is a fantastic combination. Oh. Yeah, we will. We can if you'd like to. You've always been the adult. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, but you also taught me like a lot of things, like how to talk, and how yeah. to walk, and how to eat, and how to you know. Yeah roll over and lift my head and all that kind of stuff like it's... <laughs> you just did all that by yourself. no you no did. yeah but there are there are absolutely kids out there whose parents are not so great and they don't make progress on those type of things and oh they have something of course there's obviously you know things that can happen in terms of development uh physically and stuff like that but i both had the capability and a fantastic teacher <laughs> best start i could have had in life oh look 
those undies. They yeah. are so comfy. They are so comfy. Step 15 for 15% discount. They're out. Oh That's my god, the women's the women's ones are like so out of stock. It's just not even funny. Oh, are they? Um, yeah, they uh they're good. So they had Valentine's ones, right? And oh. so yeah, and I was like, they, oh, they don't even have the... Okay, so the green ones are back on the website, but the Valentine's Day ones are gone. Um, oh. So I got one of every shade in in small, which I'm just... What the fuck? But yeah. it, look, guys, there's been at least somewhat of a restock on the Step 1 site. And Everything... The pink ones? What are the, the, the pale, pink they're pale pink? pink. Yeah, they're really lovely. They're just like a really nice blush pink. Oh, yeah. So uh, Tap Shoe, which is black, has every size, every women's size in stock now. Um, white has every size... Mahogany, which is the dark brown, has every size. Uh, butterscotch, which is like the pa actually, um, <laughs> where's my, like, where's the camera? It's got the Ingeva, uh, yes. So these ones are the butterscotch ones. They're like a pale yellowy brownie sort of shade. Yep. Kind of um, creamy. Color. Yeah, cream color. Coffee sort of color. Yeah, like a latte. Yeah, if yeah. you're in an area that actually knows what a latte is. Oh, nice. uh, <laughs> or flat white. Uh, no one knows what a bloody flat white is. That's an Australian invention. Really? The flat white, yep. I didn't know that. There you go. What about a long black? A long black, so I'm pretty sure everyone has. Um, but yeah, so uh, but butterscotch is available in every size currently. Uh, stone, which are the pale grey ones, have every size. Um, blush, is it called blush? Yeah, blush, the pale pink ones, are missing medium and large, but everything else is in stock. And then the green ones, which are my fucking favorite, the forest, they only have extra small, small, extra large, and 2XL. They're obviously um, everyone's Yeah, they're goddamn gorgeous. Like, they're, I mean, I know, I understand, like, the paler colors and all that kind of stuff definitely have more usability. Like, they're, they're useful, but the green ones are just, they're gorgeous. They're such a beautiful shade. Mm -hmm. um, that's the shade I was wearing in the photo I posted to Insta and, um, oh, and yeah. uh, Twitter. And also Facebook, because my Insta posts to Thingamajig as well. Uh, but yeah, so if you were waiting for a restock, holy fuck, jump on that. Jump on it. Jump. That's like, I don't 15 even remember off. 15 is, yeah. And I mean, they do the bulk things as well. Like, if you buy one pair, they're 31 bucks. But the more you buy, the cheaper each pair becomes as well. Yeah. yeah. Which is like, which is great, because like, you know, if you want to buy a week's worth, if you want someone who does uh, the... Laundry once a week, then maybe you want seven or eight pairs. Like me, I do not. So do I. I was supposed to do it yesterday. I did not. Oh, <laughs> I was busy. <laughs> um, but we have enough. Oh, I might have to put a load on tonight. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Have they still got? Have they still got those Valentine's on boys? It is not almost stream time. Excuse me. Um, they might do. I am. I'm wait, I'm in queue and I've, the queue's just popped. I was just changing my specs oh, so I, I could do this. I didn't know they had yeah. those. Yeah. This is the menswear side, obviously, but that was one they specially released for oh, um, Valentine's. Valentine's. And it looks lollies. like... Remember we used to get those? Lollies? Yeah. They look like they've restocked them in mm. all the sizes, but it looks like they took them away for the women's side. I guess maybe they didn't order as many just in case it didn't sell. Because the women's wear's only just kind of recently been launched. Yeah. However, of course, keeping in mind that no matter your gender identity, you can wear whichever set is yeah. best for your body. Like, by all means. They've only just released the, the women's range and they, women have been all over their feed wearing the men's range for forever. So, yeah. like, yeah, whatever you feel most comfortable with, that is what you should be wearing. And they have heaps more colours. They do. I think, I have a feeling they were like, look, we know women love them. So let's release it, but let's just keep a, a fairly limited range just to see how it goes. And it all sold out within a couple of weeks. Like all of it was just completely sold out. So uh, I think they've kind of realized that it is a success. Uh, and hopefully they'll like, I think they said somewhere in a comment on Instagram or something that they're definitely working on expanding the range, both in terms of colors and in terms of sizes, even though they go mm. from XL to 3XL already. Like, even more than that, which is really good. Okay, so the boys go to 6 They do, yeah. Small. And they don't have an extra small, though, either. They oh, go no, just from no. small to 6. But yeah. they do it by waist circumference. So I think maybe the reason that the women's went down lower is because sometimes we have slightly more petite bodies mm -hmm. in terms of just, like, frame um, and skeletal. Whatever. Oh, where the hell are these people and why are they dying? Why are all the... Purple and green nah. stuff? Uh, it's dead. It, it's, oh. You don't want to stand it. It hurts you. It is pretty, but it hurts you. <laughs> so, 
Sorry. Where are you? Uh, I'm I'm the one right in the middle here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the druid at the moment. I'm trying to heal these people, but they're not. Like, people just aren't. I don't know what they're doing. There's like one person who's actually doing DPS, and this person was just standing there, and now is not releasing. Oh. I am grateful. Like, is oh. <gasps> Zaren. Thank you so much for the gift. Just did you see what popped up up here? I am grateful. Up, up here. Oh my god. Okay, there. Ah. Uh, Zaren, thank you so much for the gifts. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Remember I was telling you about that wish list thing that I have? Yeah. Yeah, so Zaren has just bought me green eyeshadow oh, and what? a bottle brush to clean my bottle because I've been using this a lot and it's it's I don't want to drink from it because I'm going to make myself oh, sick. Thank yeah. you so much, Zaren. Much appreciated. So oh, generous. So generous. Good lord. No mount today. That's it. That's all of them. 1,400 attempts done. Not today. 50 today. Ah. Um, but I want to show you something. I want to show you the person. Okay. Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, awesome. I can't wait for the stream to start. I wonder if you will get them out today. Zam. Uh, <laughs> um. It's so funny. It ended too soon. That's okay. That's hilarious. Um, all right, latte sister enjoys a flat white. I don't like coffee. Um, I like chai though. They're actually kind of chai colored, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a chai latte. I mean. Yeah, because I really like chai. Because and... I've got the headset sitting just off my ear. It seems to be feeling a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Uh, oh, I remember when I was in Europe, they called a long black an Americano. So strange. Americano is like a long black with a dash of milk. That's a flat white. No, 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 not, not enough milk to make it cloudy, like a dash, uh, just a, like that's it. Dirty. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That was what I was always told it was. Um, mum. Oh, level 50? Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Right. No, well, I leveled her up. Oh. <laughs> I had to move her to a different server, okay. but, um, because I needed them all to be on the same servers. Is that me? Um, that was the character you made, and Did then that I. Hit? No, she had a long, no. big dread. Thing yeah, I know it. because she's got a helmet on. Oh. Because she doesn't want to get bonked on the noggin. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Let me. I'll take her helmet off for you. Um, but I did the same I with Dad. I'm grateful. Oh, Lander! Thank you for the donation. <laughs> that is so sweet of you. My Aww, God. That's cool. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, they, they could land out. They only have, they have a long cooldown, but they only, it's only a cooldown. I can't, I, actually, the bot doesn't let me do text commands only once a stream. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Um, yeah. There you go. That's, she is. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. But that was, uh. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's level 50 now so that she can actually get them out. But she didn't, cool. but that's fine. Oh dear, um, Prezzies, yes, thank you so much, Zaren. Cheat stream is even started, I'm telling fear. Uh, for the more AFK, yeah, that was a shit fight, hey. It's the shit they deserve to die. Yeah, once, when I notice that they're just standing still, not doing anything, I'm like, nope, you're, you're blacklisted. You're uh -huh. blacklisted. <laughs> GG, yeah, that's all right, next time. Hey, Nord, welcome on in, good morning to you. Hope you're having an awesome day. No oh. noggin bonkin. Yep, save yeah. the noggin. Yep, <laughs> none, none of this. It's kind of cute. Like, oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's very funny. And so that's another first time chat. Yeah. Yeah, Nordlander28 hasn't been in chat before. They might have Hello. been, like, there's a chance that they would have been here and watching but not typing. Not typing. But this is the first time they actually say something, which it's is really kind of, cool. Yeah, but yeah, it lets nice. us, it lets us kind of, <laughs> <laughs> time zones are fun, I aren't know, they? even coming here because you're an hour behind. I am. I am. Uh, ooh, yes, we're going to oh, go the here. Alliance. <laughs> ba, ba, na, bum. I'm cool and I'm glad. Yeah, the icon is great, isn't it? This is Princess Polyhedra, and this is who we're going to raid today because we're finished ah. for stream now. We're done all our runs, and I'm going to go and get some food because I'm actually really fucking hungry. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> uh, fear Mum was Alliance. Nice, one of us. Both, both Fear Mum and Fear Dad. Fear Mum's a Draenei and Fear Dad is a Worgen. So, yeah, 9 p.m. for me and your ending stream feels weird. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Super keen for Drunk Fear tomorrow on stream. I'm not going to be drunk. No. Oh, God, actually, I'm a total fucking lightweight. 
So that's the thing. Uh, glad you guys can finally reunite. Me too. We are going to have an I awesome, know. amazing dinner. They have so many I'm veggie not options. Like enough. it's they've got a whole tab on their menu just because it's like a pad, like an iPad oh, where you um, type yeah, yeah, yeah. a whole thing full of veggie oh, and yeah. vegan options. So Did you know how awesome. I always say I don't eat anything with the face? Correct. I saw a thing the other day where someone said I don't. But even plants excrete waste. They just oh, do it at their roots. Well, yeah, no, well, <laughs> it, look, it depends on Anyway, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> You're very welcome, Lucky. Very welcome. Press food picks and yes, be drunk, Lego. Look, we'll see. We'll see. 6 a.m. Oh, no way, Nord. Yeah, it is. It is 3.07 p.m. here in Brisbane, Australia. Um, you better say day. Six wow. I know. Isn't it trippy? It, it is kind of, like, I know it's weird, isn't it? It's on the so 18th, trippy. it's the 6 a.m. on the 18th. Yeah. yeah, it would be, I think. But even yeah. then, like in, in Wow Land in California, it's Thursday night. Oh, no, not California. Um, shit. Whatever they use for their thingamajig. Um, it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's 9 p.m. yesterday. Them. Yeah, I know. So it's, it's, it's kind of trippy, weird, isn't trippy it? as hell. Anyway, okay, 11 p.m. for Koala, 9 p.m. yesterday. Yep, for X. Uh, okay, we're gonna do this bit, and we're gonna do this bit. Grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fiamma Hype emote, because either you're not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, your embers, either of which are totally okay. Uh, you can still copy and paste the entire message, and then where it says Fiamma Hype, uh, you can delete that bit. And then replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote uh, to send some love to Polyhedra when we get to her channel. She is a lovely human, really, truly just great. And we have a lot of things in common. So I hope that you'll support her. Um, what's the day today? 18th. Good. Tomorrow, Saturday the 19th, we are doing more Heartbreaker Farms. It's going to be at 6 p.m. my time. Uh, 20th, which is the Sunday, Heartbreaker Runs, and then Transmog Farming, a normal, regular scheduled stream there. Monday, I'm going to die. Uh, starting at 4pm as usual, doing Heartbreaker runs, Mount Farm Monday, but then also hitting at 1am the, the daily reset and doing our last 50 runs until 4am. Wish me luck. Far out. Yep. <laughs> and then Wednesday is not squirt day, it is 9.2 patch launch day. Yes, super keen, excited to see the new thing. And then we're going to do some toy farming on Friday because I'm going to need something chill after all that. Um, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other, and I will see you tomorrow. All love. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>